Oh, I'm tired. Catch me, Geralt. Catch me, Geralt. Hold me in your big, strong arms. <laughs> Hold me in your big, strong arms. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh, that, that kick there. Oh, that's really sour. <laughs> Starting the stream with the inability to talk. Oh, there's a cow! Why am I dying to a cow? No, reload, you bugger! Oh, damn it! Bit slow there, kitty. <laughs> Battle over! End of fight! The cry for death brought forth this night. The spill of blood, the gnash of teeth. <laughs> Come forth to feed the Pedria! The beast! Uh, funky! Something's supposed to happen. Long live Funky! Um, no one killed me! Oh, <laughs> 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 <Just kill you. laughs> well, we're definitely moving at a quicker clip this time, chat. Uh oh, uh oh! <laughs> Why should you never buy shoes with Velcro? Why should you never buy shoes with Velcro? Because they're a total ripoff. Uh, yes. Mad Kitty. Yes. Cheers. X. Thank you. Help me. Help me, honors. Oh come on! Why are my honors dying? What the heck? Stupid reactive goddamn fish! Die! Would you die already? For the love of God! What the heck was that? Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's you. This head butted me with a power and gave me a freaking no, heart deep. attack. You did- uh. Oh, oh, god. what the? What the? What? Oh, I'm gonna get wrecked here, chat. Of course, the first quest I come back to is a freaking shootout, and I don't remember any of the controls. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> this is gonna be great. All right, let's do that again. <clears throat> I tried getting 100% with all gold medals. 97, that's still very impressive, Sky. I don't even remember the controls. 81% chat. Come on. Come on. You play official? Nice. What are you going to do when the service shot? Oh, no, no, no. That's the first aggressive dino I've seen. No. Oh, you son of a bitch. This Dilo just reset one freaking Dilo. Just reset my thing. Oh, you can knock out a Dino with that? Oh my god. Can I feed? Will it eat cooked meat? Arthur and John are the only two with morals, chat. Do you like the vest? See my vest. See my vest made from real gorilla chest. My favorite episodes of The Simpsons. <laughs> Great song. Good morning, everyone. Flishy Pickles, good to see you both. How are you guys doing awake so early? Getting ready for work now, Flishy. Of course, we got Rakito, Dryad, Roz in here. Welcome in. How are we all? Happy Sunday. You guys ready for some more chaos? Uh, we're getting we're getting deep into this hunted mod. We're getting a little little cocky. I'm not gonna lie. We are getting a little cocky now. Um, things have been going pretty well, uh, but that means that uh, it just it's 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 hubris, right? The the higher we are, the harder we fall. <laughs> I'm uh, we're gonna we're gonna try the labyrinth today, chat. And for those that have not done the labyrinth and are not familiar with the labyrinth, it can go sideways really really fast. <laughs> Morning, Luna. How you doing today, Kev? Welcome back, buddy. 
Welcome in. Oh, but if we can get all four artifacts out of that, then we just have to figure out how to beat a two so and and we're good after that. So uh this is it's too early to be awake. Apparently so pickles. You're the third person to say that this morning. <laughs> morning Chi Chi. How are you and Tommy today? Welcome in. <laughs> Good to see you all. Uh, all right, all right. So we're making some plans. I did some resourcing last night again, so we're back. Like we've actually got some metal in the base again because, as we, as you know, we ran out of metal. What do we? We spent like three thousand metal on a new gun, and that was everything. Man, solo resourcing is hard. <laughs> Throwing out uh, applications for the ASA servers for anyone who wants to join my tribe and resource slash organize the base because I'm terrible with that stuff. Morning, Jen. Hello, Amber. How are you both this morning? Happy to catch you this weekend. Work last weekend, so didn't uh, catch up. Yeah, good to have you here, Kev, mate. The more the merrier. It's been such a fun challenge and the perfect challenge going into ASA. Like, it really does make you think and, and, and operate differently because you're not super powerful in this mod at all. Um, but yeah, it's been super fun, mate. Uh, don't forget, like, if you did miss any adventures, though, they're all up on my YouTube. I, I'm, every week, I try and upload all of our adventures on the YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to clean it up a bit now. Let me know what you guys think. I've, I've rearranged the YouTube a bit to make it a bit more user-friendly. Um, Raz is going to be helping me out with some uh, thumbnails with, uh, with the AI stuff that he put in the Discord the other week, which was hilarious. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, morning, Greg. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. A little early, a little early, but you know what? I, I woke up about an hour before stream today, just naturally. Just woke up at 7 a.m. on a Sunday. I feel like so, I, my, I, my body wakes up between 6.30 and 7 o'clock every day with the need to pee. I, I feel like that's what makes me an old man now, right? <laughs> I, I cannot sleep in anymore. Does not matter. Body, Body's like, hey, it's 6.30 in the morning. You got to pee. Get out of bed. <laughs> Did you find Friday's stream yet? It should be there. Like, okay, when, okay where, where, where is... Where is the video content? Yeah, video producer? Video producer. Oh, it says, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. There you go. Uh, I don't know why I have to, ma okay. Did maybe Twitch change their things? Did Twitch change their stuff? Because I had to manually publish it. Okay, well, I've just published it for you. Uh, it, it's there. It was there where it's supposed to be. It just didn't auto-publish. Um, so it should be up now, Flitchy. You know you're old when your bladder rules you. Yeah, right, for Amber. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. Uh, well, embrace it. Embrace it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with it, Greg. I'm just accepted my lot in life now. It used to be waking up early. We, I mean, we. The, the funny thing is the stream schedule was built around the fact that I used to feed the cats early and they would wake me up to feed them at 8 a.m. So I was like, well, I may as well start stream early. Um, and now it's my bladder. So one way or the other. <laughs> kind of semi FK. Have a meatloaf in the oven. Ooh, very nice. Download it when I get home. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got to check that now. I don't know why Twitch is not auto-publishing. It's, uh, it should do. I, mean, I have to either have to check my settings haven't changed or see if they've tweaked something, which is interesting. Anyway, anyway, should we do this thing? we we'll get into this thing. Look at that army of dinos down there, chat. Look at this. Look at that army of dinos. We are rolling in them now. We got all sorts of dinos. We got Littlefoot from yesterday. If you missed that, we tamed a Bronto. Uh, we've got a whole army of mantises down here for some reason. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. We still need a male Therry so we can start breeding more Therries for the boss fight. Um, I'd love to try and get a Basilosaurus. I'd love to try and get a Bazzy because I'm still paranoid about, um, this Tuso bloody Tuso artifact. If we can find a Bazzy baby, that would be freaking awesome. I have a date tonight and I'm meeting his kids for the first time. Oh my God. I hope you've had a couple of dates with him already, Amber, before you go straight into the kids side of things. <laughs> Well, hopefully it goes well for you, my friend. Uh, all right, we need some kibble. We got fourteen of these, I think. Let's 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 have a look because ba I'm pretty sure Bazzies. So a couple of things today. If we can find a ba Bazzies, like on the end of the list, but that would be super useful uh, if we could get that. Uh, I wonder if we can do that. Missing gargantuan dino eggs. I doubt it. I just realized I got toothpaste all over myself. Let's go find oh, some dino cool. eggs. Do, 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 do. It doesn't like pulling eggs there. for some reason. The S plus N plus thing doesn't like pulling eggs. Colossal. Oh, 
There's some gargantuan. There's a gargantuan theory egg. Large, large. Yeah, gar. Okay, I only have three. Hmm, we may need to get some theories laying eggs again. What are you? You're a dude? What are you? You're a dude as well. Alright, I'm gonna need a lady. Gonna need a lady Argy to throw me some eggs out. Uh, there we go. What's up, Tommy? Good to see you, buddy. How you doing today, mate? Alright, behavior. Enable meeting. Behavior. Go on, Silver. Give us some eggs, mate. Uh, da -da -da. Doesn't show clips anymore either. What? Okay, I don't know. I have. I swear to God, Flishy, I haven't changed anything in Twitch. Nothing at all. I don't know why it's doing weird stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look into the settings. I don't know why they change things on me. What's up, Moon? Good to see you. How are you today, my friend? All right, Kibble. Let's get some more Kibble. So, anyway, we're talking about the plan for today, weren't we? We are gonna. We need some Otters, chat. I have somehow managed to kill all of our Otters again. I don't know how. I didn't mean to do it, but it happened. <laughs> um... So we need some more otters. We need to go get some more honey. I feel like, I don't know, maybe I've been spoiled, but I feel like my normal beehives produce honey a lot faster than this one. This one is super slow. Um, all right, let's leave that there. Uh, so you guys are laying me eggs. We need to get an otter. And then we need to... Okay, so we need to get an otter and steal some honey. Make some kibble. That's for the bazzy for later. The otters to keep me alive for now. Uh, we need to get sacrifices. We need to get sacrifices, chat. I guess we should just... We can just take in some dodos for sacrifices, right? Temperature dropped here. It's so cold. Uh, um... It's uh, getting chillier here, but I like it. I like the cold time of year. How did you lose your otter? Uh, it died in the lava. And then the second one died in the lava when we went to rescue the first one. <laughs> what do you need sacrifice dinos for? For the labyrinth, Amber. Have you ever done the labyrinth on Ragnarok? The labyrinth is... Oh my god, you'll see it today. I've got to do both sides of it. There are four of the 11 artifacts in the labyrinth. Um, it is a very impressively made dungeon slash cave for Ark. Um, but a, also an extremely difficult dungeon slash cave for Ark. Like, there are numerous points in the cave where one small misstep and you will get murdered. Like, it is real hard. Um, even when you know what you're doing. And when you don't know what you're doing, it's semi-impossible. Because there's a series of button pressing uh, things you've got to do that are just absolute insanity. Alright, what have we got on us? We've got you. Okay, let's go look for otters, chat. Let's go look for otters. Yeah, I think we're just going to sacrifice some dodos. Uh, we're just going to sacrifice some dodos. So that's easy enough. Otters. Okay, we're going to look for a few different places. Otters can be in the cave just over here. They can be in Viking Bay. They can be over by the beavers. I don't want to have to go too far from home. We need a male and a female. I swear to God, I put the breeding pair away because I know how much we we kill otters. <laughs> I had bred up like two or three extra otters. I swear I did. Uh, and, and then I lost them all. You were fighting the golem, so I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. So, Kev, we beat the golem and then and then we died to a glitch. So, when the golem dies, he, he dies in a rock again. Like, he turns back into a rock. And you're supposed to be able to stand on him so that you can loot him because he's a boss and he has a bunch of cool loot. Yeah, I tried to stand on him and got murdered by the lava. Uh, which killed my otter. And then we had to go back in to get my stuff. And and because and then the game glitched and respawned the boss again, even though it's supposed to be on a one hour timer. It was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's any otters in this pool today. Uh, they need their own fish trough, otherwise everything else will eat all the fish on them. What, otters? Ah, no, I haven't lost any to fish. We've had plenty of we've got plenty of fish in the uh in the troughs. Now that we've got uh the Sarko and the Sarko the Sarko can farm fish like nobody's business, so I'm not worried about running out of fish. 
I uh, don't see any otters in the water today. Arc doing arc things. That's right, Kev. We should have 10 degrees. Should be 50 Fahrenheit. See, I don't know what the conversion of Fahrenheit to Celsius is, Tommy. I got Celsius. Celsius makes sense. Fahrenheit confuses the bejesus out of me. <laughs> All right. Anyway. We'll do this for now. Let's uh, let's wake the wake the brain up, chat. Wait to uh, a few people to join us in today. While we're doing that, we're gonna find some otters. We're gonna breed some otters, get some baby otters, and then the goal today is to get through both sides of life's labyrinth. And that that's the only goal, but that is a big enough goal. And if you don't know life, if you do know life's labyrinth, you'll understand that. If you don't, <laughs> stick around. You'll get to learn it. It's uh, it's tough. I'm not gonna lie. I went back and watched one of my own youtube videos um for the button sequence because on the right side of the labyrinth after the jump test uh there is a button sequence that you have to go through that if you do it wrong you can just get lost in the labyrinth forever <laughs> what's up anixia good to see you how you doing today about 50 fahrenheit here not too bad when it's rainy see i'm weird i like the fall i like the fall it's a it's a nice season it's a bit cooler. It's not super chill. It's not. It's not frozen yet, but it's a little bit cooler. Um, I guess it gives me a good reason to be inside and relaxing rather than outside and feeling like I should be out in the sun doing stuff. <laughs> Feels like seven. Not gonna help if I turned out the heating yet. Yes, they went from seven thirty-three to a thousand. Now I'm sixteen out of a thousand. Oh, oh, in your game. Yeah, congrats. Well done. That's huge jump. Yeah, doing great, mate. Yesterday was solid. We beat the uh, the, the the Ice Queen. We beat the Lava Golem. Uh, we've got six of the... No, wait a minute. Five. Five, six. We're missing five. Yeah, so we have six of the 11 artifacts at the moment. Four of them are in the Labyrinth, which we're going to try today. And one of them's in the Tuso Trench, which is... Unless I can get a Bazzy, and I'm feeling like we may have to... Oh, but then again, even if we get a Bazzy chat... <laughs> Here's the other thing, a Bazzy saddle is not is an alpha saddle in this. So we're gonna have to try and find a bloody saddle for it. Autumn is my favorite season, but I also get cold easily. Yeah, fair enough, Moon. Yeah, I like autumn, or fall as I call it. Where's some otters, eh? The otters have learned to avoid me. in the usa and canada in fahrenheit the usual units no canada is um is celsius only the us is fahrenheit i'm pretty sure the us and like one small island out in the middle of nowhere are still the are the only two places that still use imperial measurements basically everyone uses metric uh where is an auto when you want one We need more orders we're doing uh the gamma boss oh yeah moon if i if i can beat any boss in this mod i'm gonna count that as a mad win that'd be a huge win uh, i don't care that it's gamma i mean for me if i beat the gamma boss that is uh that is success in the hunted mod i mean alpha would be cool but i don't need it um plus asa should be out in a couple of weeks right and i've got twitchcon next weekend Oh, that reminds me. So TwitchCon next weekend, which means I won't be on next weekend stream. Um, but because of our sub count at the moment and our new um, kind of stream schedule based around sub count, uh, we have three bonus streams this week. So I'm going to be doing a Monday and Tuesday night stream, uh, which for people over in on the other side of the world probably won't work. And I do apologize about that. But uh, with work during the day, I don't have much choice. But uh, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday night, and then probably Thursday morning for me, um before i head out to twitchcon so those are going to be our bonus streams this week with our sub count goals we don't need empirical measurements we use standard <laughs> metric is so much have you seen there's a there's like a whole facebook group called um americans will measure in anything except metric because you see these, I don't know, have you ever seen like there's news articles and online stuff where they're like, oh, there's a hole the size of 16 washing machines or they they found the world's largest pumpkin, which is 20 times a potato. <laughs> I love it. They don't use imperial or metric. The Americans have invented their own measuring system. I love it. 
Metric is so much better system based on the tents. Uh, I just went through the cave on the right side three times today. What's up, Cake? Good to see you, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've done I've done the uh, labyrinth numerous times before, but uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the hunted. The hunted makes your character a lot weaker. Uh, it makes dinos a lot different, and uh, it makes resourcing a lot harder. So um, it's going to be interesting. We should be able to do it. What I'm re the only thing I'm massively worried about is uh, is the fire room, because no matter how good you are, it's really easy to accidentally bump one of the things and get burnt to death and then you got to start all over again right <laughs> just use binary pothole is the size of two washing machines right they're so good there's a facebook group if you're interested i don't really do facebook much but dana's part of all these weird groups um that that is americans will measure in anything except the metric system and uh it's just got a whole bunch of like news articles and stuff like that where <laughs> things are being measured in in weird stuff it's great the largest pumpkin is a lot larger than 20 potatoes. All right, Dudsy, it was a random example. <laughs> um, I'm playing on Hunted right now as well. Nice, Kate. Good job, mate. And you did you did the labyrinth while in Hunted. Good job. Okay, so you've proven that it is possible then. Because this is what, uh, this is what I'm going to be on. <laughs> I refuse to re-memorize my measuring system at my age. It's too... Hey, S Silver, mate, you do you, buddy. I'm not telling you to re-memorize anything. I am just gently mocking you for it. <laughs> the asteroid the size of 83 pugs. <laughs> that is fantastic. We measure in freedom. Freedom. Uh, you guys are gold. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't bring any food for our RG. Oh, my God, Mantikai. What are you doing, you muppet? Yeah, no, we didn't bring any food for the RG. There you go. I'll share my lunch with you. Uh, we need to kill something real quick. We need to kill something real quick here, chat. What can we kill? What can we kill that's not a pack of freaking vultures? I just came looking for a bloody otter. I didn't even think about feeding my bird. <laughs> Alright, let's go kill a trike or something. What's up, Arkham? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Easy way to do is uh, with Sino. No bad spawn if you don't step on any traps. Ah, cheeky. Cheeky. I don't have a Sonoma crops yet, but that is a cheeky little uh, trick. I like that. All right. We're going to kill you because you're beating up on a thing over here. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're not. There we go. All right. You were beating up on that Dinopithecus baby. God, I want that Dinopithecus baby, chat. That thing would be so freaking useful to us. But it doesn't seem to want to be tamed. Uh, we'll do my very best to remember to message you in stream today. Yes, please do, Arkham. Please do. If you want the copy that we've talked about of ASA, I need to have details. Where the fuck are you? I need my revenge. All right. So, let's eat up here. I want to watch you go left side. I haven't learned it yet. Oh, yeah, cake. Not a problem, mate. I'm going to do both sides. Stick around. I mean, it's going to take... Uh, I mean, yeah. Stick around for stream. So, I do like a six-hour stream, um, but I'm going to do both sides today. Right now, I just need a little bit of resourcing, and I need to get a new otter, because I killed my otters yesterday, and um, it's too damn hard to survive with riot gear on without an otter. So, we're going to we're gonna do that. And then we're going to go into the labyrinth. World's largest pumpkin is 2,749 pounds. Each large potato raised roughly. <laughs> wow. Way to be unnecessarily googly on me there, Dudsy. Did the research and math so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. Just got schooled by Dudsy on, on the world's largest pumpkin. <laughs> That'll teach me to make a joke on stream. Okay, where can we go and find some otters, chat? What are the odds of the otter immediately dying in the labyrinth? Pretty damn high, unfortunately. You know what? I'm probably going to take my armor and the otter off until we get past the fire room. 
Like, the fire room is the only part that I think might kill me. Other than that, I think we've got it. A Sonoma Crops would be good if I could find one. Um, but if we can't, I'm going to use my Megalania to climb the walls. Because I know I can do the jump trick. I mean, we've done it before the, the, the proper way. Um, but the problem with that is, because the healing regen is so bad in the Hunted, that if I hit a couple of those spike traps or something, it's we're going to get murdered. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the cheeky tricks. Heck, if I could if I could find fungal wood in this game, which I don't think I can in Ragnarok, I would have made some climbing picks and just gone that way. I told you it was more than twenty. <laughs> yes, Dudsy, you are correct. Are you on single? I'm on single player. Single player cake. I do a lot of my uh, challenge runs, like my mod challenge runs and other stuff on single player, just so I uh, don't get messed up by anything um but yeah are you playing on are you playing on the monarchy server i know a lot of people are doing hunted on monarchy right now all right we really need oh there's a nest whose nest is this who just left their nest here people some bad parenting well i mean if you don't want it whose nest is this Looks like a small nest. I don't think we actually want whatever dino it is. Oh, it's a Gallimimus. Nah, we'll leave it alone. Snatch and run. Ah, it's a Gallimimus. You know what? You know what? It's not all about ruining every family, Arkham. That family, they, 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 they've worked hard for that baby. And, and I'm going to leave it with them. Because I don't need it anymore. I dropped all the way to rank 25. People kind of in the middle of the night. Uh, you'll catch it back up. All right, where's a blinking otter when you need one, chat? What we want is old mate here to put down another... Another nest. Or have a baby. Is that a baby? Oh, <gasps> that is a baby. Are you a male baby? Because I need a male baby. You are a... Where are you? Ah, you're a female. Ooh. Ooh. I've got two lady theories. I need a dude. Those shrunken head t bony galleys are evil. <laughs> Alright, where the heck is an otter when you want one? Um, This will teach me to kill my freaking otters, won't it? <laughs> They're all in hiding now. Um, all right, back up. Normally by the otters, there's a bunch of otters. Yeah, I know, right? Could have given you sign of pairs of your monarchy. Nah, I don't, I just see, and this is why I play solo cake, because I don't like people giving me stuff. I mean, I, I play the game and I play, it, especially challenging mods like this, I play it to like, to beat the mod. But I appreciate the, the, the kind thoughts, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I love everyone in the ARC community is so helpful and support. Well, the ARC PVE community, at least, <laughs> uh, is so helpful and supportive. All they want to do is give you stuff. But uh, if, if someone gives me everything, then I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> All right. Any otters down here, people? There's a frog. It'd be cool if we could get a frog. You're just a you have any tadpoles kicking around? Hey, hey, none of that, you stupid bug. Oh, there's a Therry. What are the odds you have a baby kicking around? You're a level 50. You're not, not high enough level to have a nest. Uh, I don't see any otters. We may be just SOL on the otter front, chat. But I think we'll die if we go into the labyrinth in riot gear without an otter. And I'm not, I don't have any points left to put in Fortitude. Plus, I hate wasting points in Fortitude. If you ever get a frog, can you name it Mlem? Mlem? <laughs> I can, I can. We can try that. Uh, but yeah, Cakey, mate. I, I specifically play Ark to, to like beat it in weird ways. If you check out my YouTube, you'll see a bunch of challenges I've done. Like, uh, I've beaten, beaten Crystal Isles with uh, no mounts. Um, I've done uh, a Genesis 2 with no engrams. 
Um, I've done a bunch of weird challenges because I just enjoy playing Ark in a weird way. <laughs> and of course, we've done all the overhaul mods. Omega, Dox, Eternal, uh, Primal Fear, all of that stuff. Hmm, okay. Where's another good place? We're just gonna have to give up on otters. I'm pretty sure if I put on my armor though, we're gonna immediately overheat. Yeah, we're gonna immediately overheat. I guess we could use soups and stuff, but then that means we have to take soups and stuff in. Hmm. Should we just do it? Should we just do it, chat? I got everything I need at the moment. So, we got grapples. Oh, I don't have the Megalania on me. Ah. Okay. There were so many otters chasing. I know, right? When you don't need them and you don't have the bloody stuff to tame them, they're everywhere, Cake. And then as soon as you're like, cool, let's go find this thing. <laughs> it's like, nah. Nah, or well, maybe this frozen river up here. Let's go check this. Actually, I'm going to freeze when I go up here, aren't we? Because, again, no otter. <laughs> Met many hardcore arc players these days. Yeah, mate. Everyone's coming out of the woodworks, getting their arc on before ASA comes out. Namaste, Fred. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, grapples do not work in uh, the labyrinth, no. But climbing picks do, Cake. Because climbing picks, when uh, aren't, you're not supposed to be able to get climbing picks on Ragnarok, so they didn't code for that. Uh, because technically you can't get fungal wood on Ragnarok unless you have a cluster or you use the S plus grinder to get fungal wood. But if you can get climbing picks, you can really cheekily get around as well. Alright, any otters up here in the cold? I would norm I normally just use a Thyla, but I don't have a Thyla in Hunted yet either, so I think we're gonna use We're gonna use my Megalania to climb the walls so I don't have to do the jump tricks properly. Cause I'm too lazy to do that right now. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, the bird that uh, that helps you hover. Yeah, that's a good one. That is true. Okay. Well, we're not having bugger or luck. We'll check out these ponds here and see if we can find even one. I mean, the problem with one is it's just going to get killed. <laughs> we need a breeding pair, let's be honest, chat. We need a breeding pair. I can't believe I managed to kill my breeding pair of otters again. If they weren't so integral to my survival in this game, I would probably ban myself from them. Oh, hello. What are you guys doing there? You are high enough level to 145 or 25. There's another one up here. Oh, another two up here. And you are oh, 235. Ooh, that means there's a nest here somewhere, chat. Hey, buddy, come down here. All right, so that one fell down. We'll get the last one, and there should be a nest. If we can get a male theory, we can start breeding our boss army. Where'd this last one up here go? I swear I saw one. Are you up here still? Where are you? No, did you fall down? I mean, a 235 basically guarantees that there's a nest here somewhere. Oh, there's the baby. There might not be a nest, but there's a baby. Are you a male baby? You are a female baby. Oh, come on! <laughs> Is there another baby or a nest kicking around up here? Keep your eye out for tiny little babies, chat. Is that, where's another little baby when you want one? Oh, there's, there's one. There's a baby. Please be a male. Please be a male. Come on. Come on, game. Be nice. Be nice. This is a nothing. This is a, it's a female. Oh, come on. Why is every baby? Okay. Are we just going to have to tame them? Like we're not going to be able to breed them. We're just going to straight up tame all of these dinos. All right. 11%. Oh, is it even worth getting another one at 11% per kibble? That's a lot of kibble. <laughs> Are you going for the boss? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So my goal is to beat the Gamma boss. If I can beat the Gamma boss solo on Ragnarok with the Hunted mod, I think that's a pretty good finish point, Cake. <laughs> what did you guys use to kill the boss? Morning, Preston. How you doing, mate? All the way automatic, like, at first, you know? Should we tame it? Yeah or nay, chat? What do you reckon? 
realistic. I mean, they eat pretty quick. Oh no, he's freaking out. Oh, he's freaking oh. out because of my RG. She. She's freaking out. Okay, look, look, look. I'll move the big bird away. I'll move the big bird away. Calm down, little one. If we can find the nest and there's an egg in it, there's, oh, there's got to be a nest here somewhere. Where'd you go, little one? Where'd you go? Don't tell me you fell off the edge like the big silly adults. You did. You fell down into the pile of big scary theories. All right, so the baby's down there now. <laughs> We're not going down there, chat. We're not going down there. All right. Where's my nest? Give me my nest. Name it and name it knives. Oh, that baby's a little... Well, I mean, I could kill all its parents directly on top of it, but that feels really harsh. Rexes and Udis. How the hell did you get saddles for Rex's cake? Like, Rex saddles need alpha implants, which need you to kill, like, high-end alphas and stuff. I have not even found one, let alone killed one. Yeah, I can't find the nest. I know Therese do have nests. You said you wouldn't mind finding a UD? Yeah, if I could find a UD, but the other problem is a UD saddle is also an alpha saddle. And again, that brings us to the same challenge that we have not been able to... I mean, other than getting lucky and finding a saddle in a drop, which is complete RNG, making alpha saddles is semi-impossible in this mod. Or at least in my experience. What were we doing before I saw the UD? Before I saw the Therry? We were doing... Oh, we are looking for bloody otters. We are looking for otters, chat. That's what we're supposed to be doing. I don't even know where I am right now. Supposed to be trying to find otters. Here, otter, 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 otter. Anyone in this pond here? There's an over raptor there. You get quest platform saddles from red crates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get you can get saddles from red crates. I have a rec I have one rex saddle that I got from a drop. But I'm like, if you're taking in an army of rexes to a boss, you need like you need more than one saddle, right? If you grind them, you get normal quest saddles. Yeah, but how does that help with rexes? I'm confused, Cake. <laughs> you said you took Rexes into the bosses, not Quetzes. Uh, Alright, doesn't look like there's an otter in this pond either. And you grind again, and you get hunted saddles. Oh, uh, oh, good shout. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Now I'm with you. Now I'm with you. So if I find a... Gr if I find... Oh, that's cheeky. Okay. So I need to make a grinder. Ah, okay. All right. I see what you've done there. So if I make a grinder, we can grind back backwards to get uh, the, the the hunted saddle pieces. Aha. Took me a second, but I caught up with you. That makes a lot of sense. So if I find like a high-end alpha saddle that I can break down... We can theoretically get more Rex Saddles and things like that. Okay. How did I not think of that? That's a genius idea. Well done. I did not think of that. Just, like, break down resources. Alright, so we need to make a grinder. We'll do that at some point. Uh, where's a blinking order when you need one? I'm not going to get an order, are we? Oh, Piranha. Piranha! Actually, I want to test something. Can we fire a bow underwater? I know you can fire a crossbow. You can't fire a compound bow underwater. That sucks. Okay. Okay, so no compound bow underwater. Okay. Well, I think we're just, uh, we're SOL on the otter front, chat. Which is really unfortunate because otters make life so much easier. You scream in caves? I I didn't notice. I didn't notice. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Alright. Well, 
Let's give this a go. Let's give it a go. Worst case scenario, we die, right, chat? <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to make some uh, some of the soups that help with temperature and hope that that's enough. Sorry, if we die in there with all of this stuff, I'm going to lose my... I feel like I'd probably leave my rifle behind. We got the machine gun, we got the compound bow we got our crossbow for the grapple i don't need my ascendant crossbow for that so we can probably drop that okay oh thank you i'll take that egg right there okay so you stay there we don't need kibble for this so we'll leave that there for now i think i am okay so i don't want to if, if we lose a lot that's gonna suck so let's leave that there let's leave that there i don't have a shotgun yet so we're using the assault rifle and we've got the metal bow we just need a regular crossbow i don't need to use my ascendant one for this so there's a regular grapple bow okay with 10 grapples there are a couple of places you can grapple in here um so it's important to have that uh we need scuba for the left side we need antidotes and health potions, which we have. Cool. Uh, we're going to take the Megalania in to help us with the right side. Yep. Uh, I've got a foundation and a couple of beds to put outside. Oops, did not mean to do that. Well, we're antidoted now. <laughs> Do, do, do. yeah you well i mean you either you need something to get through a section of water that you can't do without either the the the, the soups or high oxygen and swim speed or scuba is the easiest option cake um okay crafted foods what helps us with the hot and the cold we need something to help me with the hot so i need the uh is it this one extra stamina regen that's not bad shot either to be honest uh slow your weight of water consumption that one that's what i want all right i need a ma berries all right let's go grab our trike and do a berry run okay I might do one other thing real quick. Let's save some weight on the trike. Alright, hold on to all of that for me. Okay, you hold that. Let's go get some berries. Oh, a red drop right above base. That is very convenient. Dudsy calls everyone a nerd, Preston. That's a thing. <laughs> no idea what's there. So I do have uh, walkthroughs on my on my Discord if you, uh, for both sides of the the labyrinth. Um, not my Discord, my YouTube. So <laughs> if you ever need to refer back to them, I mean they're not great walkthroughs. They were done about a year back or maybe two years back when I was still pretty new to Ark. Uh, but I know how hard the labyrinth is, so I wanted to put something up to help people out. Um, but yeah, today we'll see. Today we'll see. I need to I need to record some better ones because I recorded those walkthroughs while I was doing the labyrinth with like a group of seven people and so there was a lot of messing around and dying and <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of stuff holding us up but honestly aside from the fire room Actually, the other thing that might be a problem... Oof. The other thing that might be a problem in this version is the Labyrinth spawns in bats and snakes and spiders. And in, in Hunted, the snakes do that poison spit that can knock us out, right? So if the snakes knock us out while we're in there, that's going to be a problem. Tell you what, you follow me. There you go. We may need to take some stimulant with us. Let's take some stimulant, chat. 
Finally got two-year dragon badge. Hey, nice, Dudzy. We'll watch tomorrow. Yeah, not a problem, Cake. Thanks for dropping by. Come on, Dozer. Let's do it, buddy. Did you ju you just subscribe to the YouTube just then, hey? Hmm, the alert didn't pop up. I wonder what's going on with our alert box today. Good old streaming 101. Something always doesn't work. All right, buddy, come over here. All right, that'll work. Close enough. Okay, so we're going to get some... Some of this guy. <clears throat> I only saw snakes through the walls. Hmm. If them, I think it's only the female snakes in Hunted that spit the poison that knocks you out. But again, better to be safe than sorry, right? I do have some cactus broth on us already, so that might help a little bit. Steadies your aim and ignores most weather. Huh. That's cool. All right, so let's get this. It's going to help us with the heat. Uh, increase melee damage and gain extra stamina regen. You know what? In this mod, that's actually super useful because stamina regen is a pain in the rear end. Ba, ba, ba. I hate snakes on Hunted. Yeah, the first time I found a female in the swamp, because I, I, I was I use grapples a lot, Cake. Grapple above things, shoot them, kill them. I'm very methodical about the way I, I do my mods. Um, but uh, yeah, we uh, was not ready. Oh, hey, dude, 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 what are you doing? This is not where you belong. Um, but uh, yeah, we... <laughs> I found a female snake in the swamp and it did one spit, which knocked me out, which knocked me off my grapple, which then killed us, of course. Um, one shot knockout. Yeah, right? It's absolutely insane. So since then, I try not to go near the female snakes because they're scary as all but Jesus. Trying to decide if I take my Megatherium in there. Oh, we need to take a Dodo as well, chat. Let's, uh, okay, let's come down here. We need to take a Dodo for the Sacrifice Chamber. Or a Jaboa. Should we take a Jaboa, Fred? Alright. Uh, we'll leave the row there. What's the plants there? Breast, which ones? The ones up top? The trees? Is that which one you're looking at? Give me one second. I'll show you what they are. They're part of the hunted mod. So there's uh, there's two things up the top there. God, stop using the antidotes, Manticai. Honestly, buddy, you got to stop pressing that button. <laughs> the smaller ones? Okay, yeah. So there's two plants. There's the coconut ones. These are silk, silk trees. Narrow leaf trees. So if you kill a, uh, a moth, which you can find in the desert, they'll drop uh, narrow leaf seeds. And narrow leaf seeds, you can plant this, and these um, generate silk and cactus. You get a lava golem? Yeah, I did that yesterday, Cake. So yesterday I beat the lava golem and the uh, and the ice queen. So we did those two yesterday, uh, and today is the Ragnarok. Uh, is is the uh, is the labyrinth, and then the last the last artifact I need after this is the Tuso trench. And doing the Tuso trench as a single player without a Basilosaurus is scary as all heck. <laughs> so I'm very paranoid about that. I think I'm going to try and tame a Bazzy, and then maybe I'll use your grind trick to break down and get a saddle for it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be rough. All right, let's get some water, eat some food. Okay, let's test it out, chat. So we've got our, our stuff to keep us alive. 
got some bug spray we got the megalania we got a dodo for sacrifice we got the megatherium to help us with some of the dinos in there yeah i think that's the right choice the megatherium is good at that um we got the bed to put down in case we do die all right i think that's everything i think that's everything that i can remember for the oh let's grab this red drop yeah yeah yesterday so um my vods should be up on twitch after stream but i also try and grab all of my uh videos and then chuck them up on my youtube the following week cake so anyone who missed stuff can refer back to it but yeah yesterday yesterday we did the lava golem and the uh ice queen <clears throat> wow all i got was an implant out of that lame <clears throat> okay now we begin the insanely long trek over to the desert So I actually find the left side easier. I find the left side easier because the right side through the fire room, which again is the biggest problem in the labyrinth, um, the fire room, it's harder to hit the buttons on the, uh, the, is that a drop or is that a death beam? I didn't die there. What? Why is there a death beam there? Or is that a drop beam? I'm going to I'm going to assume that's a drop beam because I never died here. <laughs> Someone else in my single player game. Um <laughs> but Yeah, the left side button sequence can be a little uh, it's it's a little easier than the right side button sequence. Morning coffee and Kai. G'day Zeb, how's it going, buddy? We still on for our uh, no Twitch party date on Friday night, mate? <laughs> How much speed do you have? Very little. Uh, 115%. I don't really put speed in my characters very much. Cake, uh, cake. I just, I just kill everything. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, let's see if we can get this drop oh, without no. freezing. No, stay away. I miss no, my otters no, so much. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't really use movement speed. I just kill stuff. Although, without cryopods in ASA, it's going to be interesting because I've definitely trained... I, I, I know where and when I can use dinos in the various caves, and to not be able to use cryopods is going to change up gameplay quite a lot it's gonna be interesting no we're freezing to death all right so we can't survive up here without our otter damn damn restful night for us oldies <laughs> those young kids going and partying it up i have 135 and got burned a little bit how do you, what do you mean a little bit? It's like, unless you've got, if you, unless you've got like over 500 health, actually, no, I think you need even more than that. Like it does, it does about 500 damage, that fire room. And I don't believe it's mitigated by armor either. So you can't really just run it. Ah, crap. At least in my experience, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That's my experience with the fire room. You've got a crouch walk. And try not to bump anything. You have 340 HP and you got set on fire and survived cake. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I've, it's almost always been an insta kill to me. But we'll see. We'll see. Because I have about the same health as you. I'm going to try not to trigger the fire. And getting the getting the door on the left side to open is a heck of a lot easier than the right side. Because you have to go from the back corner to get the right side door. Whereas the left side door you can get like directly by the statue. What's up, James? 
Yeah, Tommy, I normally try and go for about 500 HP, but I just didn't have the points. My weight has been a huge problem in the Hunted. Weight's been a big problem, and um, and obviously we needed crafting skill to be able to harvest anything. So, yeah. Hey! What's up, Rogue? Good to see you, buddy. This is an early raid for you, mate. <laughs> how was our uh, stream, Rogue? I thought, how was uh, Big Time, mate? I played that a number of months ago now, um, when they when they were out and they were looking for people to ah! test the game. What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? That's a mountain lion. <laughs> What's up, Rogue? Good before. to see you, buddy. Right, I'm going to try in one second here. I'm going to try and put a limiter on our headset because I feel like it is currently blowing people's heads off. <laughs> I can just see it going up into the red. I have a limiter on. It's not kicking in. It should not get that high. There you go. Alright, there we go. Let's see if it can avoid killing anyone. Alright, oh, we are overheating. Um, Kaelian soup. Now we're only a little overheating. And then send me a message. Send ah. me an instant message right? That'll work. Join the Discord. Join What's the up? Bro. Maybe even say hi. I know. Everyone's yeah. screaming on our cake. That's how we roll. Welcome in, Rogatha. Good to see you all. Welcome in. James and Michelle are here. We got the whole party here for this uh, this attempt. If you've just joined us, welcome in, guys. Uh, we're going to be trying, and I say trying, <laughs> Life's Labyrinth here on, uh, on Ragnarok. If you're not familiar with the Labyrinth, it is probably one of the best and hardest caves in arc in my opinion in my humble opinion what's up missy good to see you it's a fun oh it is it's my favorite one i think it is the best built cave rogatha the best built like the the the, the throwback to old school prince of persia with like the jumping and the and the blades coming up out of the ground it's so well designed mate abs oh crap that's right my rg has stamina whoops <laughs> oh it's designed so well it's super fun but it is it is super high risk because there's no going backwards, right? You can't get out. Once you're in, you're in. And if you die, <laughs> you're just dead. Um, and there's so many things that can kill you, like the fire room. So it's from that perspective, it's insanely hard. It's so well designed, though. Like the one on Lost Island. Um, oh, see, I never did the Lost Island Labyrinth one. I never got around to that. Oh, we did. Did we not bring? No, we did bring food. Okay. It doesn't help that I'm completely out of otters right now. I managed to kill all of my otters again. Don't ask. <laughs> Stupid lava golem. <laughs> oh my god, Cake, now that you've told me that Quetz thing, I think I might even have a Quetz saddle kicking around somewhere at base. So that's amazing. I did not even think of grinding them backwards. That's going to be so good. You have to wait. Yeah, yeah. If you get stuck in there, and especially with like the um, the puzzle sections where you have to press buttons and go into different rooms. The first time I did it with my mate, we did. We, we went into the wrong room. The door slammed behind us and there was no way to get back out. And so we just, and it just kept spawning wave after wave of spiders and stuff. And we just got murdered in there. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. There's a ferris seed in the chat. People, oh, you get stuck all the time. Even if you know the labyrinth, it's easy to get screwed in the labyrinth. But let's see if we can make it a clean run today, chat. Let's see if we can get a clean run. I am a little worried about snake spit in the hunted knocking us out. I'm going to try and use a Megatherium to stop that, but we'll see if it works. We've also got to be very careful of, uh, of, um, uh, the spikes because healing regeneration is significantly lower on the Hunted as well. 
So all of these things are combining to make this a potential challenge, but we'll see. Should have crafted a shield. Yeah, but you can't hold a shield up while you're running, Moon, so it doesn't really help. Like, you don't want to fight most of these things. You just want to get the heck away from them. But that's why we've got the Megatherium on us. And the Megalania. Wait and see. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check it out. I mean, I'm hoping if I if I do this the cheeky way, which is what we're gonna do, because I'm solo, <laughs> and we use the Megalania to, to to walk on the walls, we might be able to avoid a lot of the traps. So taking flies in a redwood's bad because of thylas. Not if you keep your eyes open, Anixia. I mean, you can see thylas on the sides of trees pretty well. I I don't remember the last time I was knocked off. <laughs> oh, I've used shields in some of my challenges, Tommy. You should see my uh. So I did. I used to do a series called Man vs Wild, where I had a bunch of weird challenges. I did a Highlander one. If you're familiar with the the movie Highlander, there can be only one. So I had to get from um, the lighthouse over here on the edge of the highlands all the way to the Ice Queen cave and kill the Ice Queen with no dinosaurs and only a sword and shield. That was hilarious. That was so much fun. Um, it, was, it, it, it was a very boosted sword and shield, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but it was a fun as heck challenge. <laughs> Terrifying because one time I lost my pterodon to a Thyla, no clue what a Thyla was. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the first couple of times they jump you. Man, you should have heard Ham Slice back in the day. When we started playing, the first time we were in the Redwoods on the island, and he was just he just kept getting rorted by the Thyla over and over and over again. He didn't learn his lesson. <laughs> and it was funny as heck listening to him. Alright. So, should be this outcrop here. We got bloody snakes everywhere. Okay. So, let's put down that guy. Put down a couple of these. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna have to Pokeball you, Pidgeot, because I didn't bring a storage unit to put you in. Although, hmm, actually, I really don't want, I really don't want you to die. Maybe we won't. But if I leave you out here, something's gonna attack you. Guarantee it. Uh. Hmm. What do we think? You're not really strong enough to defend yourself. What do we need for a quick box, chat? I didn't bring a box with me. Quick box. Thatch, fiber, wood. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Leave it in the air? Yeah, but once you leave it, it'll auto land, won't it, Moon? Once you move away from it, uh, they oh, there's another big snake. All right, the wood and thatch will be easy here. Fiber might be an issue. Oh no, we had animal plant fiber, didn't we? Okay. Okay, that should be more than enough. And then over here in the old bag that we just dropped should be animal one. All right, all right. You leave render, it stays in the air. It does or? Morning, buddy. Good to see you. I thought they always landed uh, once you stopped flying them. I don't really leave my dinos just hanging around very often. Uh, okay, there's fiber in here, isn't there? Yeah, there is. All right. Give me a box. Thank you. All right. 
It's okay. We're just going to do it this way. All right, Pidgeot. You're going to stay in there, buddy, along with this alpha implant. Everything else we need. So we're taking that. We're taking that. Okay, let's do it, chat. We ready? You guys ready? Have I got my scuba gear on me? I do. All right, let's do the left side first then. Taking damage already. Just jumping over a rock. Okay. Did something just jump at me, or was that the sound? Is that someone's? <laughs> I swear to God, I just heard something jump at me, but I think it might have been the video we just put on. <laughs> okay. All right, so, G. R. So if you got climbing picks, you can get up to the last one super easy. You can also do it with a Sonoma crops, makes it super easy. We don't have either of those things. So we're doing this the uh, A, T, and try and do this the legit way. I do have a Megalania on me, so we may end up bringing him out. But we'll try it the legit way first. As long as we don't lose too much health from fall damage. <laughs> Remember how long that took us the first time we did that, chat? That took us like an hour or more just to get up that little section there. Oh, bam. I just get to give me a second. First try. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. This is what's going to worry me. So there's two thoughts, two thoughts here, chat. We either take our armor off in case we get fired, it won't destroy the armor, but it, we're more likely to die. Or we leave the armor on. See, I don't know if the armor actually protects you from the fire, though. I don't think it actually protects you from the fire. I know you don't have to crawl. You can definitely crouch walk, but... Might against the direct damage of it. Armor does help, says Cake. Okay. So this one... So you want to go underneath the arm here, Cake. That's the button you need over there. And if, as long as you don't bump... There you go. So as long as you don't bump the statue, you can press that button from underneath. Because otherwise you got to go all the way around. And going all the way around is insanely difficult. <laughs> Alright. So that's that. <laughs> now you need a scuba. You don't need scuba. I mean, you can use the potion that lets you breathe underwater. You can use... Um, I mean, you probably use a lot of things. But scuba is the easiest. And you follow the glowy mushrooms down and around. A lot of people get to this point. If they don't know about this and they don't have scuba, it's so easy to die. Hi, it's Jeremiah from yesterday. Welcome in, Jeremiah. 
You got how many accounts you got, buddy? <laughs> All right, my heart rate. If I had a heart rate monitor on right now, it'd be up, chat. Even though I know what I'm doing, this this cave system can be. All it's going to take is one screw up. <laughs> At least we're not overheating, which I'm happy about. Hey, Spec, how's it going, mate? I just changed my name. Okay, fair enough. Well, welcome in, Raider. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. First segment down. I feel better about this now. Uh, get my armor back on. So this is where I normally use a dino. Because as we come up here, we're going to get bowled. Ah, crap. The Megatherium's a little big. We're gonna get... Ah, no. Stop that. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a problem. But the Megatherium's too big. So once you get to about here, you get bowled, and then it's gonna drop bats and stuff from the ceiling. How are we gonna do this the safety way? Okay. Let's throw you out up there. Put you on neutral. Grab out my gun. Yep, these things. This is what we're worried about. You've contracted mega rabies. Yeah, buggy you I have. And that's why you bring antidotes, chat. God damn mega rabies. Do you have mega rabies? You're getting very sleepy. Ah, uh, we didn't Ah, uh, we didn't bring stimulant. Forgot the stimulant. Yeah, flippers and Lazarus chowder works too. It's all right. The rabies is gone. Rabies is gone, chat. Um Okay, you know what? I know you don't prefer meat, but we need you to eat. So we're going to force feed you some meat, buddy. It's all right, Radar. That's why we bought antidotes, mate. You always bring antidotes. Always bring antidotes. I think the final area of this has bushes. Might be too late by then. It's all right. He'll eat meat. He'll eat. He'll eat what I tell him to eat. So, <laughs> all right. Let's drop all of this nonsense. We don't need any of that. Okay, so now, ah crap, we waited too long, we waited too long, alright, we press that button, we get rid of all of this crap, we go through here, okay, we gotta make sure, the doors are all on timers, so you gotta make sure you move quickly chat, otherwise you could be in trouble. All right, let's get rid of this. You know what? I, I need you to not get stuck. So let's harvest options, disable resource harvesting. There you go. All right. So right here, there's another drop. So it's going to drop some nonsense on us. So this is where you need to come back to, Cake. So after you come through that door there, you go straight. Don't go right. You go straight and then around to the right here. And then this door here, remember that door because we're going to run back to this at some point. All right, so drop some stuff on us. There is an annoying pit trap right here that a dino should be able to get across. Yep, there we go. But if you fall in that pit trap back there, like if you don't have a dino or you fall in it, it's an it's an insta death, and there's basically no way out of it. So you got to be very careful of that pit trap. That's why I usually use a dino in here. Thyla works really well because the thyla can jump as well. Um, but yeah, the pit trap. Especially when you're running back that way after you do this thing in a second. Um, pit trap isn't... A lot of people die there. Okay, so now we need to get off you. This is why I use a Thyla, because the Megatherium is too big for this cave. But I don't have a Thyla right now, so... Just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Alright. Alright, so... Get ready for this. I'm going to teach you the button sequence. It's not easy. 
but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and try and do it fast for you. But I'm gonna do it the speed that I have to do it, and you're gonna have to try and keep up. <laughs> so this is a point in the in the labyrinth where you can use grappling hooks. All right. So the deal is, you press this button in uh, uh, in the middle there. It opens this door, and then you need to press that button on the right there. But as you can see, there's a few spiky traps. So you want the one to the right of the torch. You have to get in, press the button, and get out before this door slams, or you're stuck in there forever. Unless you've got a friend that can open the door again. But as a solo, I don't have any friends. <laughs> so that button, that button, and then through this door. Okay? I'm going to let it slam shut, and then and I'm going to redo it. But you can get past these by, again, a Sonoma Crops would be easy. I use a grapple. Grapple the back wall, and then grapple out. So you can grapple to bam. Oh, what? No, they changed it? Son of a bitch. Okay. We'll just do that then. All right, we got spiked. Oh, Jesus, that hurt. One spike took half our health. <laughs> All right, we're going to try and heal up now. <laughs> And the healing is so slow in the hunter. This is going to take a minute. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. I missed the door. Oh, it didn't open. Oh, I forgot to go through the door. I took the spikes and then I forgot to go through the door because I was distracted by the death. Okay. All right. This is going to take a minute here. I'm going to have to, we have to heal up because that hurt. Even with all of this armor, that, that almost killed me. Okay. All right. Holy crud. I thought I could use crossbows in here, but apparently not. That's really irritating. Okay. All right. Crafted food heals you. Well, yeah, I've got healing potions and stuff, but it takes forever. Like, I am healing. It's just taken, taken its sweet time. It doesn't immediately heal you. So you got to give it a minute. I had no idea there was some Indiana Jones stuff in Ark. Oh, Prozac, mate. Yeah, welcome to the labyrinth. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Okay. Yeah, Sonoma crops would have been real good in here. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna allow myself to heal up. There's no point rushing this because if we die in here, it's gonna be real hard to get back in. Chat, you've got to start from the beginning. You've got to go through every other room again. We may as well give ourselves a, a minute to heal here. It's it's actually gone quicker than I thought. The hunted nerfs the crud out of healing across the board. It really does. It really, 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 really does. I made handcrafted cakes with a recipe. It heals faster than a med brew. Okay. Well, hey, if you want to share that recipe with me, Cake, <laughs> I could do that. I could definitely do that. How you doing today, uh, Prozac? Good to see you. Thanks for uh, having us over yesterday. That was fun to uh, to check you guys out. I hope you were having a good time in the Ark. Dryad suggested that we come and say hello. All right. Shit. Oh, yes. Okay. We made it in. Okay. We made it in. Okay. So as you saw, this door is going to close pretty quick, but I left the Megatherium there because after hitting a certain sequence of buttons, we're going back out that way to the other door. Okay. So this one is this button here. Okay. The button to the left underneath the torch. And then that is going to open this door here. Uh, and I don't have a freaking light with me, do I? Normally I have a shotgun with a light on it, but I didn't. Okay, in here, there are three switches on the left that you need to hit all three of them. There is also um, a door in front of you. Don't go through that door. That's where we got trapped before. Don't get distracted by the drop because this door will slam shut. So you got to hit all three buttons, come back this way. And then this is going to open, and then there's three buttons in here you have to press to get back to the Megatherium, and then you got to grab your dino, run back to the old door. We got it? We got it? Everyone's on track? That's how you do this labyrinth, right? Okay. 
Let's see if we can do it. All right. Don't distract me now, kitty cat. I don't have time for this. All right, let's go. It'd be helpful if I had a light, but I'm an idiot. Actually, oh, this will give me a light. Okay, perfect. One, two, three. We're not getting the red drop. I don't have time for that nonsense. That opens up this guy. This guy is crap, crap, crap. There's a button there. There's a button there. And there it is. Okay. So there's two buttons, and then you grab your dino, and you absolutely book it back this way. Run, 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 run. Watch out for the drop. That's why I use a dino. And then door on the right here. Watch out, there's traps in here. Ooh, it worked! Okay. Beauty. So far, so good. So far, so good, chat. Okay. Gonna Pokeball you up again. This is a lot easier. Okay, so in the roof here, you can see these things. They spit out. I don't know if you can see anything with... Okay, let me try and bump the camera a little more. There you go. So up in the roof, there are arrow things that will shoot um, tranquilizing arrows down at you and knock you out. So you've got to be careful of those. Um, but if you just hug the wall and run, you can, uh, you can get through this. So when you come in the door, again, a light would be super helpful. But on the left-hand wall behind this pillar is the button... Where are you, you sucker? Really wish I'd bought in a freaking light. Uh, it's down here. So this is hard without a light. Because I'm an idiot and forgot a torch. There's a button in the wall here somewhere. <laughs> I can't see it. Behind this guy, there's a button here. Where the frick are you, button? Ah! All right. <laughs> this is good. Little man said hi. Hello, little man. All right, we really need a button. Ah, uh, where the frick is it? No, it should. Come on, give me the give me the alert. It's right here somewhere. Give me the trigger. Oh, we're overheating. Ah, crud. We're overheating. All right, there we go. We were just getting heat stroke, so let's deal with that real quickly here. Okay. Eat that. Health is good. All right, Chi. Okay, I'm oh. gonna... Well, hi. Can't just spawn a torch in. Okay, what's the um? Right, what's the spawn code for a torch? A shark, just so right? I can show, because I just I just forgot a torch. I want to be able to show people where this button is. Anyone know what the spawn code is for a torch? So I can show you guys where this button is. Jen coming in with a Bruce redeem. All right, where is Bruce? Bruce is up here. Anyone know the spawn code for a torch? Yeah, I can't go into GCM mode, gentlemen, because it will change my stats. But I can I can just cheat spawn a torch, so I need that code. But if I go into God mode, it'll change my stats. Thank you very much, RJC. So if I do that, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So let's just chuck this guy there for now. Alright, so... There's the button. Okay, so if you've got a torch, cake, <laughs> pillar, pillar, button up here, and then you have to run. So you have to run. Stick to the wall so you don't get hit by the arrows, um, but the door at the other end has a timer on it. If you hug the wall... Hug, 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 hug. There's the door, there's the door. Get through the door. Crap! Whoa, that was a shitty place to spawn, mate, because that door's about to slam shut. All right, and then there's bats and spiders and all fun things to deal with. How? Wow, you took more than a thousand damage, a level 180 Onyx. That'd be why. Okay, and I don't even have my armor on me right now. <laughs> Whoops, Okay. Oh, there we go. More. Oh, no, don't eat raw meat, you idiot. I'm trying to kill myself here. Ah, crap. All right. Healing, water, food. Jeez. <sighs> what a Muppet. All right. 
That spider almost ruined us at the doorway there. Are you kidding me right now? Ark trying to be Ark. 100%. A spider in the doorway. What is that bull? Okay. So this is where I'd normally bring out a dino. I mean, if you've got good armor and you've got... Um, and you've got some friends and weapons. You don't need a dino for this section. But again, I'm doing this the safest way that I possibly can. Aha! And now we get to the um, Prince of Persia segment of the game. So. <laughs> okay, let's try and kill this bat here. Alright, cool. Spider! Spider! Where do you guys keep coming from? Okay. So, the proper way to do this is to Prince of Persia your way across this. Jump, 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 time your jumps, don't get spiked, etc. Grappling hooks don't work in here. Um, if you have a um, S plus grinder or you have a, a, a cluster, you can make climbing picks. Climbing picks will work. Uh, a Thyla will be able to climb this. I'm hoping my Megalania can climb this. Um, that's why we bought the Megalania in, because as we saw, these spikes do a shit ton of damage, and I don't want to die in here. Oh yeah, Cocoon Silk? Oh, uh, true, I haven't, I haven't even thought, you know what, nah, let's not, cake, cake, don't distract me in here, don't distract me in here, we are here to do one very important thing, and that's to get the artifacts, alright? You don't know me yet, but I am easily distracted, and I need people to not distract me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's grab out the Megalania. Let's give you some meat. Alright. How do you climb with a Megalania? I've never actually used... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yeah! If you are doing this with friends as well, um, these buttons here you can use to turn off the spikes. Once one person gets across, you can press a button here to turn the spikes off. Um, just to be nice to your friends if you if you care. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be like a rock drake. I'm so bad at driving these things. Uh, but do be careful. If you press the wrong button, you will summon in a bunch of bats and snakes and poison gas. So, ah, ah, okay, this is easier. In oh god. First person for driving these things, eh, chat? Ugh. Okay. Ooh, a pump action shotgun! Yay! A pump action shotgun! Why not face the Megatherium up to a dismount and hop backwards? Ha! <laughs> that's not bad, Zor. That's not bad. Alright, let's climb up the wall. This is fun. I've never used a Megalania before. These guys are cool. But yeah, it, it, it is super fun to do the jump trick the way it's designed with the spikes. And in regular arc, if you've got healing potions and stuff, you can do it pretty easily. But in the hunted, with the low healing rate, I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Alright, so, one thing. When you come down here, there's the exit door. Don't forget... To grab the artifact that's just off to the left here. Otherwise, you'll have to do it all over again, Cake. <laughs> I've seen people forget this artifact so many times. <laughs> Alright, so you are good. I don't think we need you anymore, mate. The next room, from my memory, should be the sacrifice room. So as we get close, this will open up. And then, yep, sacrifice room. Alright. Oh, we only bought one dodo. Ah, crap. I'm going to have to go back and get another dodo to do the other side. That's right. It'll give me a chance to breathe between sides. All right. What's up, buddy? Okay. So we're going to pick you up and throw you. Nope. Pick you up and throw you. Yeah. And then we're going to come in here. Okay. And again, you're going to want a light in here. Uh, huh. Yeah. Oh, we may be too big to fit under this. No, we can. Okay, perfect. So you, you're going to get attacked in here. So the best bet is to run and just run and run and run to the end and then turn and kill everything. 
So it's going to do the same as before. It's going to spawn bats. It's going to spawn snakes, spiders, all that bull. Although right now we're not getting any, which is super weird. All right, we're inside the Megalania again. Okay. Um, there is one final trick here to be aware of. So this is the last door to the boss room. This is the button that will open that door. Um, I had to I had to pocket up my Mega Mega because it was too big to get off. But if you're on a smaller dino like a Thyla or something, some people leave it out and walk it through. That will break it. We've tested this. We've tested this. If you walk through the boss door with a dino, because you're not supposed to have a dino and it reads the dino, um, the boss won't spawn. It won't work. So make sure that if you are using dinos for this segment, that you um, you Pokeball your dinos before you open the final door. So then you open the final door and you come into the room, and then this is the same that you would have done before, Cake. Yeah, we, we had to god mode back out the door and re-trigger it um, to get back in. Alright. I like... So this boss can be done numerous ways. Um, RJC, thank you for the code for the uh, the, the, the um, thing, by the way. I like standing on top of one of these walls to kill this boss. Because it typically keeps me out of danger. Yeah, that torch was a, a good thing, so I could show... I can't believe I forgot a torch. Something, normally, I have a shotgun with a high... Uh, with a bloody flashlight on it, so... All right, yeah, this should work. All right, so now, for those that haven't done this, once you kill one of these things, it ticks off the... the wolves and the bears. And then the bosses will start to spawn, and they get progressively higher and higher levels. So you get a ghost wolf and a ghost bear... They start at level 50, and then they go 100, 150, so on and so forth. Where's our wolf? Where are you? There you are. Again, if you've got a high-end dino, you can just bring your... Once you're in the room, you can bring your dino out and just uh, fight them with a the dino. I don't, know if, I don't know if my Megatherium is that strong, to be honest, so I'm just going to do it with the bow. I can't remember if 200 or 250 is the top level. But either way, now you just kill them until... We're going to lose a lot of arrows here, but whatever. I can make more arrows. Alright, must be one more level. Let's see how much damage this does. I made this because we didn't have a shotgun. That's not bad. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hey, buddy. Where are you? There you are. What are you running away for? Come back. Come back. Come back. Yeah. Alright. Hope you got enough. Yeah, I bought a hundred with me, Tommy. We're good. We're good. All right. Beautiful. Is workout not on? Caveman. Caveman. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Channel points. All right. Just for you, Caveman. It's back. It's back. Let me get these artifacts. Let me finish this run first, though, all right? So once the bosses are dead, you get two artifacts here. So there's two artifacts in the final room. And then there's one artifact on each side, which is why you have to do both sides of the labyrinth. But there you go. Cake, I hope that helps. That is how you do the left side of the labyrinth. Make it cheaper while you're at it. <laughs> if I made it cheaper, I'd be doing exercise all day, every day, mate. Have you done the boss on this map? Yeah, RGC, I've finished Ragnarok numerous times. Uh, not this playthrough. Not 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 with the hunted yet. That's what I'm that's what I'm working towards. Um, but yeah, I've I've definitely 100 percent finished. I've finished every arc map, basically. <laughs> Help me get scared. Ooh, almost hit the edge there. Okay, and then the, and then you got to just get out of here. But there is a timed exit door, which is super annoying, that slams shut. It's a really awkward way to die after going through all that awesome stuff. So as you get closer to the end here, you'll start 
Just hearing the ticking and the door. I don't know why they have this exit door. But yeah, that'll start to lift up and then you got to creep out of here before it comes back down. I don't know why after going through all of that, they put that exit door there just to slam you in. And a really awkward load wall right underneath it. We did it. All right. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Not the center. True. I haven't done the center. If you have a cluster, you can bring a light pet to serve as a torch. True. True, true, true. Can't imagine the first person who ever learned this cave. Oh, RJC, mate. RJC. Like, I, I did it. The prop the first time I played, I I, I tried to figure it out. I, I said, no spoilers. No one tell me anything. No one show me anything. We tried to figure it out. Mother of God. We died. We spent hours in there, mate. Hours. I bought Ark from the Epic Store, and now I can't buy story maps because Epic Game doesn't have them. Yeah, fake. Because the Epic Game Store links into the um, Xbox Store, I believe. Um, and console doesn't have... Oh, no, wait a minute. Console does have the other maps. It's it's uh, it's it's mobile that doesn't. Good night, Cakey. Get some rest. Thank you for joining us today. Appreciate you. Um, all right, Caveman. More squats? More squats. You want to do weighted squats, Caveman? No, there's a kitty there. Hey, kitty. <laughs> all right. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Kitty Cat's like, what are you doing, you silly human? Can you come in here and say hello to everybody? Come here. No, he's just going to stand in the door. <laughs> okay. There's a set of 30 for you, caveman. Whew. Okay. So now... Now we need to... Go get another sacrifice and then do the other side. Where are your socks? Who wears socks in their own home? If I got bug spray and Kaylee and soup on, the odds of me getting attacked by all of this nonsense out here are much, much lower. Oh, big snake. Big snake. You get cold feet when it isn't summer. My, my streaming room is so warm. It probably doesn't say good things about my computer, but my streaming room is so warm. You wear socks in your house, Raider? See, I bought Dana. Dana has gets cold feet as well, so I bought her a bunch of those, like, funny slippers. Like, she's got, like, a puppy dog pair, like a husky pair, and a panda bear, and things like that. So, I get it. <laughs> but not me. I run pretty warm. What's up, rubber ducky? All right, so... Let's take a deep breath. We need to go get a new sacrificial dodo. Drop off all these artifacts. And then gear up for the other side. Beautiful. There you go. So there's one side done. You, my friend, can have some meat. And we've got a shotgun now, which is so nice. Lurking like always. I appreciate the lurk, Ducky. I really do, mate. Mate, if we get more people like you supporting and lurking, we're uh, slowly, slowly getting towards those partner numbers. Which is so exciting and weird for me. <laughs> Alright, since we're all the way on this side of the map, is there anywhere on this side of the map we can find Otter's Chat? Maybe over near where the beavers are usually? Not the dodos! Not the dodos! I mean, I have a compi. I have a compi we could use as the sacrifice. Dodo or Compi, chat? What should we sacrifice for the other side? Spare the Dodos! What's up, Banana? How's it going, mate? How was the end of your stream today? Good to see you, mate. 
Let me guess. T TK's back on the hunted again. I swear to God, that dude, he has been streaming so hardcore recently. He's doing like 12 hours a day. <laughs> Not the compy, says Luna. All right, well, it's got to be a Dodo or a compy. That's all I'm. That's all I can fit in the hole, or a Jaboa. But Fred will lose his brain if we try and sacrifice a Jaboa. <laughs> Good to see you, banana mate. Welcome in. Trudons and Terror Birds. No other options. I don't think the Terror Bird will fit, and we don't have a Trudon. And I'm not taming one just to sacrifice it, because screw that business. On the upside, the temperature wasn't a problem for us, so that was good. Still want to get my otters anyway, but imagine trying to just like jumping on the back of a terror bird. Get in there! Get in the hole! <laughs> not Dodo, not Compy. Just use the Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just, uh, can I sacrifice a Rex toe? Just one toe. That's all you get, all right? I need the rest of the Rex back. Tiny ti Titanosaurus. <laughs> uh, I tamed a titan, titan once. I've only ever tamed a Titan once. And then I immediately used the S Plus mod to turn it into a Chibi just so I could keep it forever because I didn't want it to starve and kill itself. But yeah, I've only ever had a Titan once because they're a pain in the rear end to tame. <laughs> Still less annoying than the Trudon, but very annoying. <laughs> For those that um, are new to the stream and don't understand these Trudon references, number one, you've probably never tried to tame a Trudon or you just get it naturally. And number two, go to my YouTube and watch the last like two minutes of my Noah's Ark challenge. So I did a, I did a Noah's Ark challenge um, on the Island Extension mod um, just before we did this challenge actually. And um, <laughs> so I had to tame a male and a female of every dino in the game, like literally every dino in the game, put them on a big boat, Escape to freedom. That was the that was the challenge. That was the goal, and the Trudon drove me so batty that I literally lost my business and just cooked it live on stream. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, uh, Puff? Good to see you, mate. No points in PVE. Yeah, right. No point whatsoever. All right, we got a dad joke. Dad joke for Puff. Let's find where are we up to. Why did the yogurt go to the art exhibit? Why did the yogurt go to the art exhibit, Puff? Because he was very cultured. Well, <laughs> uh, wow, this is an option if you speak some truth on. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, gold. You know that one, Fred. It's a classic dad joke right there, mate. All right. I think Bruce has had his 10 chat. Let's say goodbye to Bruce. Bruce, Bruce helped us through that uh, one side of the labyrinth. We're going to put him away. Put him away. Get to a box to place by the bed so you leave stuff behind and check the desert drops. Oh, yeah. Well, we did put a box by the beds, but that's a good shout. You should have said that while we were back in the desert. Because it's night time. Would have been the perfect time, Moon. <laughs> we'll check him on the way back. Alright, so we're going to have a look down in this waterways for otters. Although now I don't have any salmon row, but we can get some salmon row, surely. Ooh, what's everyone trying to catch? Ooh, a ponytail. That is it, like a sniper blueprint and a shotgun blueprint. That is a that's that's good for us. Given where we're going with this mod at the moment, that is really really good for us. I think I might make the shotgun instead of the um, machine gun. Just because, I mean, the machine gun's a bit of fun, but a shotgun, a pump action shotgun, just feels like the right weapon to play har play arc with. Does anyone not use a pump action shotgun? Because I swear to god, I always I always use a pump action shotgun if I can get one. 
How can I set my level cap to 180? Um, you have to Red change the, di um, the, the difficulty the to 6. Rar. So, Dino hey, Kai level. And Kai fam. Hey, Jimin. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. And for the Prime sub, 28 months deep. Good to have you here, mate. Um, yeah, the Dino difficulty is usually 30 times that is maximum Dino level. Because normally, Dino, like, difficulty of 5 is 150. So, if your difficulty is 6, technically your max level should be 180. How you doing today, Jimin? Good to see you back, mate. What's been going on? Not seeing any otters. I don't know if I'd notice them even if I did stumble across them. Hmm. Hmm. Try just throwing hugs around. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. <laughs> uh, classic. Ah, oh, red drop just disappeared right there. Okay, we know that desert island down there had some otters in it. Maybe we have to head all the way back over there. Maybe we just give up on otters and use soups. <laughs> Does it become a soup kind of game? See if there's any otters in here. Ah, uh, da, da, da. my highest found dino was 110, and I'm over difficulty on one. Oh, there's. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. So it's it. it, it there's two things to it. Um, fake faker. Um, there's your dino difficulty, and then your difficulty offset. There's two, two segments, so I'm not very good with the coding, but I have looked into this once before, it was a while back. So there's difficulty and then difficulty offset that can affect it, which I don't know why they have both of those things, it's weird. Um, but yeah, you might be better off looking at Google, unless someone in the chat thinks they know how to help. Never seen a Soul franchise, we watched number one. You gotta do all of them. See, I, I number one was interesting because it was new and unique. After that, it just became the same thing over and over again. Difficulty override is not an option on console if you're on it. Okay. So, yeah, actually, that's a good question. Fake, what are you playing on? What are you playing on first? That might help people help you. Okay, there's just a fish. There's usually an otter in the snow. There's a small lake close to the volcano. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I've got, that's on the other side of the map to where I am right now. And crossing this map takes a sweet time with the current dinos that we've got. I think I'm just going to have to give up on otters. The game is telling me that right now, we don't get an otter, chat. <laughs> you're on PC. Okay, so if you're on PC, you can definitely change the difficulty, the dino levels. I know it's all possible. It's all to do with your I and I coding. Are you playing on a server or are you playing on single player? Because if you're playing in single player, you need to go find the specific files on your PC and then change the coding that way. Without the extra option button, enable 150 on more maps, depends on the map you're on. He wants to go to 180, Chi Chi. You're playing single player and wants to go to 180. It's got it's something to do with the difficulty and the difficulty offset that changes the dino levels. Why was the baby tomato crying? Because it found it found to catch up to what it couldn't catch up to its mum oh <laughs> oh sorry i butchered your joke because i couldn't read because it couldn't catch up to his mum <laughs> good job mate good job puff <laughs> but yeah it's easier to do when you're renting a server because the settings are a bit more obvious but it, um but when you're in single player, you've got to you've got to go into like your your drives, go like whatever your C D drive, etc. Um, find where you've installed the game, find the I and I file, and then change some of the coding. But it's super easy to break if you're not familiar with the I and I coding. So make sure that you read up on it before you change anything fake. Why did the rooster go to KFC? To see a chicken strip. 
<laughs> uh, my wife says, how do I look? And the husband goes, with your eyes. Wow. <laughs> that is, that is definitely a dad joke right there. I can hear my father saying that. It's like the old, uh, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. <laughs> Anyone's dad ever say that to them? Like, I'm tired. I'm hungry. And they're like, hi, tired. Oh. <laughs> Man, that was a long flight just because we forgot a second dodo. Every single time. Right, Jamin? Said that to my kids many times. Good job, Zor. Good job. Keep the dream alive, mate. We literally just had to fly to the opposite corner of the map because I forgot a dodo. And because it, it's hunted, I can't just tame another dodo. <laughs> Actually, uh, we don't have any kibble on us. If I had kibble on me, I probably could have just gone and tamed another blinking dodo. Uh, why couldn't the potato stand up? Because it was a couch potato. <laughs> Alright, so this still brings us back, chat. How are we going to do the Tuso Trench without getting murdered? Because a Tuso can apparently grab a Sarko. And the Sarko is the only underwater dino we've got. What's up, Mikey? Good to see you, mate. Why do bees have sticky hair? It's because they use honeycombs. <laughs> oh, Puff, your jokes are getting better. Your jokes are getting a lot better, mate. <laughs> um, there you go, fake. Fake, there's some uh, there's some some code for you, mate. Thank you, uh, Trike. Appreciate that. And my son asked if I was named after my dad. I said, of course. He was born way before me. He's <laughs> jumping on his back. Yes. <laughs> I love it when everyone else contributes to the dad jokes. This is gold. All right. Oh, what about this pond? Would there be otters in this pond? We need some stamina anyway. Any otters in here? No. Okay. Rest in peace, boiled water. You will be missed. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Puff has found his game now. He's on this. Uh, have a sacrificial tanky swimmer to attack it and get grabbed like a turtle. Yeah, I, I, so basically I need to get a second underwater dino. Okay, after we do the other side of the labyrinth, we're going to go see if we can find another Sarko egg or a Barry egg. Something I can put a lot of health into. If I can get another Sarko, we do have another good Sarko saddle that we could use. All right, we made it back, chat. We made it back. Let's put some artifacts up top here. Make our shotgun, get ready, and we'll do the other side of the labyrinth. Okay, we don't need the scuba suit anymore. Uh, that guy. Okay, those there. We'll get rid of that. So, you, you. You go in there. Okay, we're definitely keeping the Megalania. We're keeping the Megatherium. You know what? We're going to... Can I make that shotgun that we just put in here? Can I make one of these? Can. Heck yes. Give me one. All right, so if we're going to take the shotgun, we'll leave this here now, as well as those, and we'll just take the shoddy with us. Or a Bacillo, which can't be grabbed. Yes, but good. the saddle. The saddle is the problem, Zor. But I think we might try. I think I might try because, actually... Ooh, 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 ooh. We heard a good trick saw. Uh, oh, that's right. We're keeping saddles elsewhere. I heard a good trick saw. Um, Cake taught me. So Cake was a, a new person in here a minute ago. If you get a, um, a grinder and you grind up an alpha saddle that you have found, like this Quetz... Okay, let's, let's try this. If you grind a, an alpha um, saddle down, you'll get the alpha building thing so you can make new alpha saddles. I didn't even think of that. Uh, oh, do I want the vanilla grinder or do I need the... Does it make a difference? Oh, we're four oil short. All right, we'll do that later. 
We'll do that later, but keep that in mind. We're going to do that. We'll do that afterwards, and then we'll try and find a... It's activated already, I assume. I don't... Yeah, I think it is. I think it is, because it's coming from another saddle, right? So you get an activated imp implant from breaking down a previous saddle. I didn't even think of that. It makes total sense in terms of the mod. All right. Okay. Now... Artifact. Artifact. I still need to find a baby Bazzy and then feed it. TK said he got a Bazzy and it cost him like 30 kibble to feed the damn thing. Um, so that's going to be a thing. But uh, I may try it after we do the, uh, the Labyrinth. Alright. Still not up for a dolphin. <laughs> I'm not, Mikey. I'm really not. I can't believe that you did that. Good on you. Hey, Nat. Long time, buddy. How you doing, mate? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, where's that shotgun? Didn't we just... We just... There it is. <laughs> like, I swear we just made a shotgun, chat. I swear we just made a shotgun. All right. 100 shoddy bullets. All right, let's test the damage on this sucker. Actually, let's compare. Doing good? Doing great, Nat. Doing great. Been playing this, um... Hunted mod, mate, and it's a ton of fun. Ton of fun. Okay, let's compare damage, chat. I do have a DPS dummy over here. Shotgun or machine gun? 3,700 DPS or... 3,100 DPS. You know what? The shoddy, the shoddy, yeah, it's better. And it doesn't have the kick on it. The machine gun has so much kick on it. Yes, we need to grab a dodo. Thank you, Moon. Do not let me fly away without a dodo again. All right, do we need any more soups or anything? So we got our shoddy, we got our bow, we got our soups and our food. Um, okay, everything's good. We'll refill the water. Okay, we're doing the um, the labyrinth today, Nat. Have you ever done the labyrinth here on Ragnarok? It is. Uh, it's a thing. Okay. Okay, sacrificial dodo. Cool. So we got our sacrificial dodo now. So the right side of the labyrinth is the word, the fire room, the jump thing, which we can go through the Megalania, the quick buttons. Yeah, no, there's nothing really on the right side that's too difficult. I think we're okay. Can't say I'd use that. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Like, I've been doing... We're 81 game days in. I was going to make this a 100-day challenge, Nat, but I was like, there's no way in hell this is going to be doing 100 days. But surprisingly, we are 81 game days in. I uh, I have 9 of the 11 artifacts. Actually, there's only 8 up there. I got one more in there. All right, we have 9 of the 11 artifacts, and we've got dinos. So we're, we're, we're pretty damn close. <laughs> <laughs> okay is there anything else we need before we leave base chat why do you ne ever see a pig hiding in trees because they can't get in trees <laughs> wow just listen two hours ago on stream was actually kind of easy just a bit nerve-wracking good on you mikey mate you are more ballsy than i am I, I i i go the safety way sent two dad jokes i guess you have to scroll to find them i if i missed them i missed them but uh sorry pop i'm trying to read them out as i can and i just spoke over flishy's one ah flishy the urge to sing the lion sleeps tonight is just a whim away a whim away a whim away <laughs> You can use that, Puff. The uh, the lady will read your jokes out for you. <laughs> taming mechanic with only eggs or taming young, I really enjoyed. It's a level one that's the kicker. Yeah, the taming mechanic is really cool, Zor. The uh, resourcing mechanic is kind of cool. The the time to resource some of the high, like if you go after a 240 or an alpha, the time to resource that is a bit off. The saddle mechanic is a little imbalanced. I think they need either more tiers or to bring a couple of the dinos down a tier. But overall, I really like The Hunted. I think it's a great... I think it's great. I wrote a song about a tortilla. Actually, it's more of a rap. 
staying exposed to get the good resource right i mean i get it it makes sense but i think they just they, it needs a little rebalancing but I, th I think the hunted makes a lot of sense as a mod it's it just makes a lot of sense all right let's do this hello hello millennium mushrooms okay let's put these in the fridge uh, we do have colossal eggs. Maybe we can, let's make some more blue kibble. Cause, okay, so the plan we're gonna do we're gonna do the other side of the labyrinth, and then we're gonna try and find a Bacillosaurus, chat. That's the plan. So let's put the eggs in here. Consumables, kibble, this guy. Can I make five? Ah, uh, we need veggie cakes. Ah, uh, we need honey before we can make veggie cakes. Okay, we need to. Okay, after. Do me a favor, chat. <laughs> Someone in the chat. After we finish the labyrinth, on the way home, we need to steal some honey, all right? Actually, that reminds me. Let's get some bug spray. Do we have any more bug spray? Let's make a little more bug spray. My wife changed after she became a vegetarian. It's like I've never seen her before. Ah! <laughs> Saddle DNA needs rebalancing for sure. Yeah, a little bit. Dangling in front of a lava golem was pretty ballsy as well. Thank you, Mikey. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ballsy in different ways, apparently. All right. So let's get some more bug spray. Okay. So remind me, on the way back, after the labyrinth, we have to get some honey, chat. Make some kibble, and then we're going to go find a Bacillosaurus, all right? That's the point. There you go. Jen's on it. <laughs> after the cave maze thing. <laughs> I'm back in the freaking building. Welcome in, Egg Mama. Well, you missed one side of the labyrinth, but we're about to head back to the other side of the labyrinth, so good timing. My father was called Dad, but now we call him Dead. Oh, Julie. Oh, Fred. Fred, that's so... It's really my grope, the DNA samples from the Alpha. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and some of the dinos don't belong in that tier zone. Like, a Bacillosaurus is not an Alpha dino. Hey, um, what else is in that tier? Like, I get Rex, Giga, maybe even Spino, but, like, some of the stuff in that alpha tier does not belong in that alpha tier. My friend David has his ID stolen, now he's just Dav. <laughs> oh, Flish. Come on, you're killing me here. Oh... Dinos were added to the tier specifically to hinder you, not because it made sense. That's true. That is true. And I did enjoy that. I mean, it does make it progressive, right, Zor? Like, I've seen plenty of people who got into the Hunted. Like, let's face it. There's a lot of people playing Hunted right now, whether it be on Monarchy or, or other individual games. I've seen a lot of people who, like, with a tribe, you can easily steal a Rex Egg or an RG Egg on day one. But then getting the stuff for the saddle, getting the Angler Gel, like... This, t it, it puts an interesting um, gate on, on the progression, which I think is quite good. Because once you've got an RG, it just feels like regular arc, right? Alright, tell you what, we need some stamina, and I need to feed the kitty cat. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, it's kitty cat feeding time. Do me a favor, hang out for a couple of minutes. We're going to go do the other side of the labyrinth. Then we're going to find a Bazzy fight some Tussos, and get all the artifacts. And then we just got to get a dino army ready to go for the boss. So um, I'll be back in about two minutes. Enjoy these clips. And if you do see fun things on stream, remember to clip them because then they join this clip thing. See you in a minute. What? Like, I, do I don't have a voice redeem. This is my voice redeem! The shock sound of my voice! <laughs> I don't know what that is! Okay, I didn't build that one in. I did I did add one new redeem though. I can cool down. Boom. I've been making a dodo army for two years. How strong are your dodos, DJ? Don't say Just that, because then it's gonna be obvious. <laughs> Stop making me paranoid, friend! <laughs> Uh, all right. I don't know this map very well. Oh, 
That's just my theory though, Moon. Oh, I'm tired. Catch me, Geralt. Hold me in your big strong arms. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, name Rex after Shannon. Should name it Shannon because she went offline. No, that's all the poet <laughs> there. All right, but Von, you came from Shannon's crew, so, so we need gunpowder for the this rocket. Is on you. There you go. <laughs> all right, there we go. So we got the... Where are you? <laughs> oh dear God! My head off. Oh, he's just pouring! He's just pouring an antiseptic on his soul! Oh my god! Alright, alright. Kitties are fed and happy. Not only that, you have to have the egg day one, but the nest. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, Chi Chi. You need the nest. You need the thing to power the nest. You need, um... You need a bunch of stuff, right? So it just it just makes it more a little gated, which makes it, in my opinion, a bit more interesting because you have to you have to go through progression. You have to like evolve your way through the mod, which I quite enjoy. Dev is pretty clever if you change your settings, you'll trip yourself up. If you just play too tight and they broke my manual corpse hop. Multiplier would drop tons of stacks of heavy resource on me. I mean, ha ha. I I must admit, so I changed to two times harvesting because. And that's what I'm playing on now, because day one, as a solo player, I think, like, I got too hide from killing a dodo, and given that I needed bloody 40 hide just to make a bed, I was like, yeah, nah. <laughs> but even at two times harvesting, I don't find that it really, like, I, I don't find it broken for me. Um, I still, like, I get about maybe 150 armor plates off killing a steg, so it's not, like, and that's not even enough for one saddle, so it's not like game breaking but i i couldn't do one time so i did i definitely tweak that <laughs> might want to check the eggs i put them in the cooker yeah they're not on me put them in the cooker all right so on the way back we'll grab some honey and I'll try and grab some of my oil. I do have oil pumps up there. I am going to freeze to death trying to grab them now because I don't have a freaking otter. But I'm going to try and grab some before we die. Uh, but we'll do that after we get the other side of the Ragnarok. Ah, uh, the thing. I'm not going to lie. I actually, I woke up a little early and watched my own YouTube video on the right side. Because the right side, I find the right side button combination a lot harder to remember than the left side for some reason. So I actually watched my old run through the through the right side to try and get the, the sequence down. I always wanted to become a monk, but never got the chance. <laughs> Very much like the getting to, I don't think uh, Basili should be getting so hard. That's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably Island, CIA comparable. Is it compatible? Um, I know James and Michelle first played the Hunted on that mod. Uh, it is, it, apparently it is compatible. It will work, um, but many of the dinos aren't designed to work with it. So like, what ended up happening for them, to uh, Tommy, was that everyone just got Crystal Wyverns, right? Because Crystal Wyverns, they, they're fantasy creatures, so they don't work with the hunted, and they're a passive tame. So on day one, everyone got crystal wyverns, and then, I mean, at that point, like, the hunted was easy, right? So, I, um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think, uh, uh it, it, it played too well on the island CIE, just because it removed the start grind, which is a lot of what the hunted's about. You're on a roll, hot dog, she's on a roll. Yeah, see, James James is saying it's, it's quite buggy. Oh, we are. Whoa. We just overheated a big way. What the heck? Uh, I need to get some stamina back, so you're just going to have to deal with the heat for a second here, buddy. Uh, when I went and killed Alpha, Raptors and Alpha Connors, I found they were beta DNA. Oh, yeah, Zor. I killed my first Alpha. The first Alpha I've even seen on the map. Like, I haven't even seen another Alpha that I've avoided. Like, the first Alpha I saw was a was a Raptor, and I killed it, and it didn't have Alpha DNA, and I was like, what the frick? <laughs> it's literally called an Alpha. 
Its DNA would be alpha. And the alpha spawn is higher on Fjordor. Yeah, but again, you'd have the same issues with the um the mythical creatures that don't function with the hunted. I mean, you could do what I'm doing, right? I mean, you play it how you want to play it. Like I've avoided the wyverns. I'm not getting a wyvern because I didn't I didn't want to get I didn't want to do that. I guess you could do the same on Fjordor. The cold would be a big problem on Fjordor, though. Like think about how much you died due to the cold on Fjordor. And how hard it is to get the resources to get your uh, your armor and stuff up at first. That would be kind of rough. Put my idea back in the graveyards of my mind. He's a, yeah. I mean, and again, you could play the hunted on on island extension and just not use wyverns. But yeah, there's a lot more dinos that don't function properly with the hunted mechanic. I guess is all I'm trying to say. Actually, while we're flying past here, we should check this uh, little lake over here for um, otters. There's sometimes otters over here. What's up, moon? What's going on? Don't forget the desert drops. Yes, ma'am. Before and after. Yes, ma'am. Love it, moon. You're on top of it. You got me. So, we're going to check otters in the pond over here. We're going to go look for the desert drops. Although I don't have my Rex on me. We do have the Megatherium though. So Desert Drops and then Labyrinth Cave. Oh, you're out of meat. Oh, crap. Oh, that was very nice of you to kill that wolf for me, buddy. I need some meat. Oh, that Rhino just charged me. I wasn't doing anything, mate. You didn't want this corpse. You're a herbivore. You're a herbivore, you jerk face. Oh, this rhino may be ruining my argy. This is a speed argy. This is not a fighting argy. Guy's being a jerk face, chat. Pidgeot's not a fighter. He's a lover. All right, let's get the heck away from that guy. He's mean. Oh, actually, while we're over here as well, I have sap taps on a tree up here. Let's grab that because we will need that for um the cakes for veggie cakes. All right. Oh, and I've already forgot where. Okay, where's that bloody lake? We were supposed to check the lake just over here, and then I got distracted. I uh, get there. It is <laughs> lake sap. Drops, Labyrinth, Kibble, no, Honey, Kibble, Bacillosaurus. Oh my god, I can't think that many things. Uh, okay, lots of... We're a little cold, but we're not dying. That's okay. Any otters here? Doesn't look like it. Lots of sabers, no otters. Oh, disappointing. All right. That's a no on the otter front. There is a baby. Look at this little baby. Look at the little baby and his giant horns. Look at him and his big old horns. Same thing about graveyards. People are just dying to get in. Alright, alright. Someone stop him. <laughs> alright. Where's my sap taps? There we go. Oh, uh, let's do this the lazy way. Sap. Thank you. I mean, I'm heavy. Okay. Oh, we'll put them on. That's what you're here for. Beautiful. Lake. Sap. Drops. Labyrinth. All right. So first two. Done. Got it. Boom. So what are you up to these days, Nat? Are you uh, doing any new arc challenge? I know you kind of went back to uh, some of your YouTube stuff, right? Desert Drops being such an easy mode handout. The Black Pearl's right on the coast really turned me off of Rag. 
Okay, where the heck are these black pearls? Because someone else said something about farming black pearls on Ragnarok, and I like to think I know Ragnarok pretty well, but I don't know where to farm black pearls. What am I up to? Oh, about six feet. Uh... <laughs> Lots of them in shallows right off uh, the beach in the right places. Okay. Yeah, I've never really found them. Because if I can get enough black pearls, we can go down and tame a Tuso. Oh, actually, no. Tuso's day. Yeah, no, that's right. We remember. We, we came up with that plan yesterday and immediately dismissed it. Because it's not going to work. All right, let's take some of this armor off so we're not overheating. Uh, you need to reach level 80 first. Depends on the quality of the drops in the RNG. True. But he is right. It is fairly easy to get red drops comparatively right. You've got to admit that, Moon. Like, you don't have to go in a cave or fight a boss to get red drops, which, comparative to other maps, does make it easier. How do you like this mod so far? Egg Mama, I think that this is is a fantastic mod. I, I, I honestly l have had a ton of fun playing it. I think some of the mechanics in this should be in regular arc. That's how much I really enjoy some of these mechanics. But I know for a lot of people, this might be a little too much. Um, but I personally have really, really, really enjoyed playing this mod. It's a fun story of my old town I lived in. We have a burger restaurant on the other side of the street. is a graveyard. One of me and my friends went to the shop ordered bone nuggets. The face of the work was priceless. Wow. <laughs> it, no, it, yeah, as I, like the, the mod creator has put a lot of thought into the mechanics of... Oh, crap, we are overheating. Yeah. I don't think we can do this, Moon. I'm going to die. Yeah, middle of the day, 12 o'clock. Yeah, we're not searching the desert in the middle of the day. That's going to go bad. I don't really want to pass out in the middle of the desert. Now nah, let's get this labyrinth done while while I'm ready, while my brain's awake. Let's get this labyrinth done. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully by the time we come out, it'll be perfectly time for night. Okay. too heavy you know what why don't we just pull the sap that would make a lot more sense wouldn't it pull sap done all right now this you all right pidgeot you're in here mate okay everyone else is good so let's have this 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 and this I must say, this is the first time in my hours of playing Ark that I've really bothered to use, like, soups and stuff. So that's quite fun, too. I like testing out new things. Uh, where's my cave entrance? There it is. You know what I forgot to do when we made this new shotgun? I forgot to put the light attachment on it, chat. That's what we should have done. Okay. Okay, I do have the torch. I have the torch. I have it from before, but it's just its just easy having a light attachment on a shotgun, right? It's one of the easiest ways to get light in a cave. G-R... See, I don't even know how you're supposed to figure out this word the first time. I did have someone, like, I found the letters and I figured out the jump mechanic, but someone had to tell us what the word was. I don't know how you're supposed to figure out this word. It's not written anywhere. Like, it's not, like, above the entrance outside is the word grata, because that would be kind of cool if above the entrance out there it said that, but it doesn't actually say it anywhere. Oh. 
or does it and i've just never found it on the flashlight no nah, that's okay rgc we got the torch mate we'll go with that for now but thank you okay we're getting better at that jump game there all right this is the one that i'm worried about because i struggle to get this one i hate this one okay so i know we can do this instead of which is quicker i know it's this button it's this button here but then getting across to the door is hard this is my most hated part of this freaking mod Fudge! Fudge! Heal me! Heal me! Heal me! Please heal me! Oh my god, we survived! Oh, we survived! It broke my pants and almost broke the rest of my armor. Okay. Oh, that was. Yep. All right, Megalania. Here you go, buddy. Have a little bit of that. I guess we'll keep my broken pants. Um, what do we want? Health, stamina. Stamina and weight is good. Movement speed. Let's give him some more health. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we have to press the button and try and get through with him. All right. Yeah, mate. We we got cooked a little there. That was close. So armor. I I don't know if the armor helped or if it just destroyed my armor, but we're alive, so that's a thing. All right. So you press that button, and then you're supposed to. Again, for people doing this the legit way at home, you're supposed to come along these ledges here, and then jump from left to right to left to right to left to right, etc. It's doable. I've done it before. It's super fun. But again, with the hunted mod and our lack of healing and the fact that I don't want to do that this time, we're going to be cheeky. Flashlights are infinite. Yeah. So yeah, normally you're supposed to jump, 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 jump over here. Okay. Good job, buddy. Well done. All right, shotgun. Um, I really want to heal up a little bit. Yeah, I want to get as high health as we can because I don't trust the snakes and bats and stuff. I think we're going to need a megatherium in the next room. Uh, when my fry... Friend Frank died. He was cremated and put in his favorite beer mug. Now he's Frankenstein. <laughs> Alright. Right button opens this door. This takes us into this room. As always, things are going to drop from above. So let's grab you out. Okay, we'll run across here. Ah, I think because I got my dino out, it, it glitches the spawn point, which I'm fine with, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Press the button. Go through the door. Don't get hit by... Okay, so this one gets a lot of people. If you get greedy and run for this, it will drop a bunch of arrows and traps and nonsense on you. My, my legs are so crispy. Look at my legs. If you come around one of these. 
There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, really? I got a blueprint for a laser and a bullet. I just risked my life for a blueprint. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that wasn't worth it. Wow. Okay. All right. So now, like the rest of this bloody labyrinth, there's a button series. So try and keep up, chat. I wrote this one down because I struggle with this one to remember it. But there's buttons bloody everywhere. The first one you want is on this left wall over here, the first one to the right. And then that's going to open this door. And then you want the right one. And then you want the middle one. So this second one here. And then you want the second pillar. So not this one, but the second pillar on the right. And then you want the left one. And then you want to go forward, turn around. Uh, oh no, the right one. Yep, there we go. And then you go forward, turn around on this back wall and you press the middle one. Try not to get slammed in the doorway. And then you go forward, kill the spider. Okay, there's one more to go and there's doors slamming behind me, which I don't like. The last one is right there. But I want to kill him. 260, Jesus. The last one is this one here, which will open this door back here. There's stuff stuck in the walls, which is sometimes a problem. Okay. Sweet. That was it. Everyone catch the sequence there? Alright, now you've got to drop down. If you drop too far here, you will die. So you want to take this slow and steady. Alright. And then there's my artifact. There is another... There it is. There's a hole here, but this is not an insta-death hole at least. Like on the other side. This one you can get out of if you fall in. Yeah, dying by fall damage when you get that deep in is rough. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think the right side is a lot easier. Other than the quick... The quick, um... Buttons and not getting slammed in a doorway. The right side is a lot easier. Okay, now we grab out old mate Dodo. You know what I'd like to do? Yeah, what would you like to do, Moon? Okay, throw you in. <laughs> Cheeky. Cheeky, mate. Cheeky. Get in the hole. Okay, dude. Dude, I, 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 look, it's it's a nice hole. There's, there's candy in the hole. There you go. All right. Let's grab out our Megatherium, not stand in the doorway and get murdered. Oh. You can have those. All right, let's go. Was thinking this would be a lot more appropriate with Otter Sacrifices. Yeah, I couldn't even find one to tame, let alone spare ones to sacrifice, mate. <laughs> All right, let's get through here. Come on. Alright, take the meat back. We'll give you some more attack. Put him away. Oof, okay. Just get lost and explore. <laughs> yeah, Moon. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, my friend. 
getting lost and randomly exploring the labyrinth. I guess, I mean, theoretically, someone had to do it the first time, right? And, um, yeah. There was a bag left. I think it was a spoiled meat or something in it, run. Ah! Alright, so now we've ticked off the ghosts. Don't fall off the top here. Pew. Pew. You know what? I miss the, um... You know the silly sound effects in 7 Days to Die chat? With the, um... With the integration? Whenever we shoot a gun or a bow, it's like... Pew. Pew. <laughs> Pew. No, where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? There's the wolf. Pew. I just heard Dana sneeze. Pew. Ah, damn wolf's getting away from me. Come here. Come here, you. Aha! And the squeaky toys for the melee? Yes, right? It was all good. Right in the butt. Right in the butt. That was only the 150 level. Oh my god. I'm in trouble hitting these guys this time. know the correct way just pick a different way and whatever door that opens <laughs> yeah yeah totally that's that'll work all right boom Nice. Okay. Can I get any of my arrows back? I doubt it. Oh, this. Oh, can I harvest? No. <laughs> I was like, can I harvest the spirits? <laughs> but they do have stuff in their inventory. That's interesting. All right. I'd like to be able to check it all out, then die. Unfortunately, when you go into some of the rooms, it's almost in there, like there isn't a way to open a door to get back out. So that's the problem with that way. <laughs> okay, water, food, healing. I don't even know if we need it, but let's just do it. All right, so the labyrinth went... I, I, it, I, I'm going to say it, chat. It went pretty good. It went pretty good. I would go in naked, yeah, but if you're naked, you're more likely to die to stuff, right? Oh, wait a second, we're overheating. I need, I need Indiana Jones music now. I think I've, I've got the hat, we've got the cave. I need a rolling boulder and some Indiana Jones music. What is Indiana Jones music again? I can't believe I can't think of that. What is the what is the traditional score for Indiana Jones? Not that anyone can actually play it for me or you're on chat. <laughs> da, 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 da. No, that's Star Wars. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> I love the people that try to write it though. Come on, Moon, you didn't even try. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh yes. All right. <clears throat> All right, we did it. So now we need to get honey and oil. And then we need to go see if we can find a Bacillosaurus bear. Over by the volcano. Oh, no, we've done Dino Wipe since then. I was going to say, over by the volcano, I'm fairly... Oh, crap. The heck was that? Oh, just a scorpion.
I love that bow. That bow that we got from the golem was freaking awesome. Frops, droips. Sound like Timey now with his memory. Oh, my memory, I like Zor, mate. My, I have never hidden it. My short term memory is absolute trash, mate. Absolute trash. All right, let's pull some sap. I don't know. I, I assume it was stress and life during COVID and work and all that kind of nonsense. I don't know. It's easy enough to blame. But um, yeah, my short-term memory went to absolute heck. Okay, it's getting to nighttime now, so we may be able to survive out here. Desert drops. Okay, let's wait till it cools down a little bit, and then we'll go check it out. Uh, I don't think Tommy and Chi Chi use, um, use Discord, Jen. I remember them saying that once before. How does the moon cut its hair? Eclipse it. Uh, did anyone catch the eclipse yesterday? There was the solar eclipse yesterday, right? Tommy is. Oh, okay. So it's just Chi Chi doesn't. Welcome to the ADHD club of memory problems. Oh, 100% egg mama. My parents were told when I was much, much younger that I most likely had AD, ADD, ADHD. But uh, this was before everyone was immediately drugged. So they're like, ah, cool. We'll deal with it. I think I think I've just it's just been in the back of my brain ever since. <laughs> All right. Oh, we are overheated. We are cooking out here. Let's see. What if I take my armor off? Naked de Oh my god. We are char broiled chat. Look at my poor character. Well, we're unique now. We're definitely unique now. So I, I am, I'm a lava golem now. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I thought it would have faded over time, but no, we are just charbroiled now. It's just you, Chichi. Okay, sorry. Okay. My character is charbroiled and dying. Ah. Double decoy! How's the golem cave without getting pulled into lava? Well, I, I won. I did it. I beat it. And here comes Nathro. Okay, you can have the corpse. I don't want it. Take the damn corpse. I just wanted some meat. We're good. Okay. Uh, it was pretty good, decoy. How you doing, mate? Decoy, check me out, mate. We may have uh, we may have triggered the fire trap in the uh, <laughs> in the labyrinth <laughs> and survived. So now I am Char World. Drop pins on the map. Ah, that is way too logical, Jana Moon. Way too logical. Who do you think I am? All right, so there's one. Now we got a bear slightly left over towards the spine, right? Doing great. Been playing the new Modern Warfare 3. Oh, nice. It just dropped 40. Well done. Solid effort, mate. All right, so then you, there was something about this spine over here, right? Oh, there it is. There it is. I feel like uh, Aladdin, and you're my genie. He can be taught. Okay, we got a Parasus saddle for what that's worth. Head straight south. Okay, I'm heading, for, yeah, yeah, pretty much straight south. It's my kind of kill game in any Call of Duty. 
Doctor told me I was going deaf. I hadn't heard from him since. Ah! <laughs> Red. Oh, yes. Okay, so the plan for the rest of today at the moment, chat, is to try and get a Bazzy. Okay, the plan is to get the Tuso... Oh, there's a red one over there. The plan is to try and get the Tuso artifact. It's the last one we need. So step one, we're going to try and get a Bazzy. If that fails, we're going to try and get a second Sarko and use two Sarkos to do it. One to get trapped and one to kill. An Ascendant Mosasaur Saddle Blueprint. That's going to be... It needs 49 extraordinary saddles. <laughs> That's not going to happen. 49 alpha tier saddles. I can't even make one of the damn things. Oh, but we can make a grinder now. All right. Honey and oil on the way home, chat. Honey and oil on the way home. So the last one is over by the shore near the trees, right, Moon? I'm deafened to that joke. <laughs> oh, all right. I got you, Moon. You're a good teacher. I can't believe how crispy my character is right now. So somewhere down here near the trees. No, it's more over that way, isn't it? It's those trees over there. It's one of these groups of trees. I think it's that one over there. I think we're too far to the side. Side is a technical compass term. Ah, I see a glow. My single player hunted. I found a Senate Doet saddle blueprint that requires 200, two and a half thousand saddles. I know, right? Isn't it insane, um, decoy? Oh, a 286 pump action shotgun. We've got a better pump. All right, time to get some honey, get some oil, and go home. Oh, we got better boots now. Armor, gloves. We have no pants. The pants are dead. Okay. Woo! Gold star. Yes! I got a gold star. Jackie is cooking a turkey and singing. It's all about the beast. About the beast. No trouble. <laughs> Got a lady cooking you a turkey with a good sense of humor. You're doing well there, Fred. Killing it, mate. Okay. Honey, 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 honey. Without going near the wyverns. Let's not go near the wyverns. Oh, we're out of stamina. No stamina. No gobble. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen a few of these uh, blueprints. I mean, I haven't seen one that high. That's kind of crazy decoy. But, like, even 50 alpha level saddles to me is like, are you, you, you you're joking, right? Oh, actually, you know what? While we're all the way down here, since we're all the way blinking down here, let's go to that. Yeah, we're going to follow the south here. We're going to go to the desert island and see if there's any any otters over there. Still want to, I want a replacement otter. We didn't get any of our stamina back because we got attacked. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. I can't, that, I can't believe we got all four labyrinth artifacts. I honestly thought, I honestly thought we were going to get murdered. I did not expect that to work out, chat. Not going to lie. Even knowing what I was doing, I, I thought we were, we were goners. All right, we need to kill something with some more meat. The other day she asked me to pass her a lipstick, so I walked past it twice. <laughs> wow. Alright. 
Yeah, this this RG does no damage. Should be able to kill you though. Pidgeot's a speed RG. He no fighting RG. That's what I need, a second one. Okay, you know what? You stay there. Oh, 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 murder kitty! Now we got murder kitties. Who are... Oh, ho, 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 almost got up the hill. Okay, you stay there. Alright, that guy's dead. Where'd the murder kitty go? The murder kitty go, chat. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, kitty? I don't know. Very worried about the murder kitty we can't see. I think it was trying to flank me. I don't want to stop and get that, uh, get that arrow back, but getting off my mount feels like a very bad life choice. I think we're just going to sacrifice the metal arrow. Cool, Tommy. Curious. It's going to drive me batty now. Okay, we're going to pause this. I want to listen to the Indiana Jones music. What has four legs and an armor pit bull in a playground? Oh, Fred. Do, 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 do. You know when you hear it, you're like, ah, yeah, of course. How did I ever forget that? Do, do, do. Do 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 More of a do 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 do, Marky. Not a da 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 da. More of a do 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 do. <laughs> do 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 do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Tommy. Thank you. That was gonna drive me batty until I figured that out. Okay, we got some meat. We bring Zelda Dragon to another dead dragon. There is just one thing we need: more meat. You know, you know who we look like, chat. We look like Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> what a very Darth Kai vibe going on now. Just put my armor on. Stop being like, oh, chat. I am your father. <laughs> Jack is singing his own music. Do 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 do. See, you wrote do 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 do, and it made sense immediately. It just clicked in my head. See, see. <laughs> uh. Hey, I could do a worse thing to you, Dryad. I could start singing TK's theme song, and that, <laughs> that'll set little man off. <laughs> when does a, dad, uh, a joke become a dad joke? When it leaves and doesn't come back. Oh, oh. Red. Red. Mate. You're going dark on me today. Go real dark, buddy. Bring it back. Bring it back, Fred. Come back to the light. Walk to the light, Fred. Jesus. Come back to the light, buddy. Walk towards the light. <laughs> no. 
All right, what are we doing? Oil, honey, and otters. Oil, honey, and otters. That's what we're doing, chat. Must have needed milk. Thought it was cigarettes, decoy. <laughs> All right. Food, water. We are still overheating. Probably because half of my skin is now charcoal. Where are you getting oil? I have oil pumps up at the um, up in the frozen zone. I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive to get my oil, but we're going to try. Up above the um, Ice Queen cave is the uh, couple of oil pumps. Yeah, I got two oil pumps. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Are there any aloe plants for the burn? God, I hope so. I mean, coming from a, a ginger background, I can tell you that 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 burn he's got going there that that's pretty good. It's a pretty solid burn. <laughs> Was the first animal in space the cow that jumped over the moon? Ah, yes. The little man's got the best jokes. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Vic? Good to see you. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome in, Madams Vic. Good to see you, Ace. Madams Beard. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. How was the rest of your stream this morning, Madams? I saw you starting a, a fresh playthrough on the center, right? What's up, Smooth? Good to see you, buddy. We is here again. I think we've got a few people crossing over, but good to see you. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Good to see you. Um, I'm Mantikai. Welcome aboard. Good to have you here. Um, I do a lot of uh, survival games, same as Batums. Uh, we're playing Ark. We're playing the Hunted mod. We're doing it solo. And this morning, we went through um, the Labyrinth. Both sides of the labyrinth. They got all four artifacts. Uh, so we are one artifact short of being able to do bosses in the hunted mod. Uh, but it's been great. It's been great. I hope you guys have had a fantastic day and thank you for joining in. It's good to get back into some arc. Yeah, trying to get the mechanics down before ASA comes out. Hey, Vic. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, welcome in, guys. Hopefully you enjoy hanging out with us. Um, if you got any good dad jokes, feel free to throw those up in the chat. Right now, we're looking for uh, otters, honey, and oil. Uh, and uh, and that and then we're going to try and tame a Bacillosaurus, chat. Uh, but that's that's kind of the plan if you've just joined in. If you don't know what the hunted mod is, feel free to ask in chat and I can explain it again. Uh, it's a freaking awesome mod. Very challenging, but really, really awesome. But how'd you go, Vic? How far did you manage to progress your uh, your game today? We had a little problem with fire. My guy got a little charbroiled. Check him out. <laughs> we got a little charbroiled in the labyrinth. Uh, it's, it, it might take a little time for our burn to heal. <laughs> I built a bob house and now I have metal tools in flight. Nice. Good job. What do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I gave a shout out to my grandmother. It's the only way she can hear us. <laughs> Battle scars. Exactly, Guardian. Exactly, mate. Uh, what mod? So the mod is called The Hunter. Zombie Girl underscore A5. Hey, Find Zombie. Five new Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Sunday. Thank you for the five gifted. How you doing today, Zombie? Um, okay, so The Hunted. Vic and anyone that's interested. So what the hunter does, it does a couple of key things. Let's just land here so we don't die. Um, number one, your character is half as strong. So you start with half health, half stamina, half everything. So your, your human is a lot weaker because you're a human in a world of dinosaurs. 
Number two, the Dino AI changes. So dinos are now territorial and they fight in packs. So you'll find big packs of dinos around the map. Um, and, and then the only way to tame dinos is to steal eggs off nests or to lure babies away with candy or kibble in this case. Um, <laughs> so the only way to get dinos is to raise them from babies and they all start at level one. So leveling them up is very hard. There's also a whole mechanic about making saddles, which is very, very difficult. Um, and resources. You actually have to like skin things to get resources. So it's like, it's almost like realistic arc. The, the mod creator put a lot of thought into it. It makes the start a lot slower and a lot harder because you will be a beach bob for a long time. And getting tames is very hard, but it's really rewarding. I say silence is golden, but duct tape is silver. <laughs> Oh, everything is territorial. Like, that guy's going to try and beat me up now because I got in his territory. There's a baby kangaroo. Look! Look! It's a baby kangaroo and a baby gallimimus. So if I had the kibble with me, I could try and tame these babies. Oh, and the gallimimus mum is going to attack me because I got too close to her baby. You ever been attacked by a gallimimus? <laughs> um, but yeah, so everything is defensive and territorial. Um... It's, it's really, really interesting. We're trying to find an otter out here is what I'm trying to do. Okay, wait there for a second, buddy. Is there any otters in the water? No. Okay. Oh, oh that galley is still having a go. Hey, hey, no. Bad galley. Um, but yeah, uh, Vic, I mean, I know you're st you're just getting back into the hangar arc, but, uh, an ASA is coming out pretty soon, so you may not get a chance, but I do recommend this mod if you ever get a chance. It's super fun. Did you hear about the man who jumped off a bridge in France? I did not, Tommy. Ever been attacked by a, a dodo? I, I have been attacked by a dodo, especially in things like Docks or Omega. I've been blown up by a suicidal dino in Primal Fear. <laughs> that was a shock. When you first get a, a come across your first, uh, exploding dodo in primal fear that that'll get you look it's a baby dolphin so like literally the only way to get tames in this is to tame up babies or anything that's not an adult you can get adolescence he was in sign uh, <laughs> not sure i'd have the patience for it oh yeah it it definitely takes some um some time definitely takes some time but it's one of those things that, like, you have small achievements. Like, the first dino you get, uh, only 17 deaths. Yeah, Acre, 17 deaths from start to finish. Uh, solo playthrough, we're on day number 82. And I've got 10 of the 11 artifacts. I just need the Tuso artifact. But I don't want to go in the Tuso trench till I can get a Bacillosaurus, which is proving to be challenging. Right now, we need some honey, some oil, and an otter, but I can't find a freaking otter. <laughs> but we can go get honey over by Green OB. But again, thank you for bringing your community here, Vic. Appreciate that raid. I know when I finish stream, I've got to go eat, rest, get away from a computer for a second. So do what you got to do. Totally understand. But uh, thanks for trusting everyone over here, and I hope they enjoy hanging out with us. I will uh, do, do the stream. I don't do the streamer thing very often. I'm bad at it, but I think you're supposed to refresh your stream if you joined with a raid to count as a viewer. If you want to chill and, and hang out for a bit, if you're a lurker, feel free to lurk. You don't have to chat, but if you do like to chat, we love to chat. So come in and say hello. Uh, it's why I stream. I like talking to people. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, there's my little spiel. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Got to eat. Be back in a bit. Not a problem, Vic. Not a problem. Appreciate you again. Dryad, Dryad, stop encouraging Silver. He doesn't need any more otter jokes. He doesn't need any more otter help. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> uh, all right. So we got the sap. Now we're just looking for... Uh, so Acre, have you, um, 
Is it? Let me see. Acre Homebrew. Wow. Have you played this mod? You seem to know a little bit about this mod. But they all migrated to different maps. They're sick of being killed. Look, again, I've never killed an otter directly. Otters, otters don't, otters die when I die. I, I keep them safe until my death. <laughs> and I don't die often, but it does happen. <laughs> You just take I, I take them to dangerous locations, alright? Goldfish that can break dance for about 20 seconds and only once. Uh, you only died 17 times. Yeah, egg mama. 17 deaths total from start to finish. Could have been a few less, but we made a couple of mistakes. Just the driver, it's no offense. My otter is always die. Right, Acre? It's not just me. Otters get dead. It's what happens. Oh, oh, that was rude. I was right there. The ma the faces they make. <laughs> Did you see the meme someone put in the Discord yesterday of like a real otter looking like real sad and then making a post about me murdering otters? That was unnecessary. <laughs> It was so sad, Moon. All right, we got bug spray. Just need some honey. There we go. You guys can keep your nest. I don't want your nest. I just want some honey. Oh, no, give me that back. Okay, keep you, keep you. We got more artifacts. Got a better pump action shotgun. Okay. Normally there's a bunch of hives around here. Hopefully we can get a bit more honey because we need to make sweet cakes. I do have a nest at home, but it's not really a, a hive, I should say, but it's not making much honey. The production rate is terrible. Run right away! Oh, son of a gun. I've got bug spray on! Kill him, damn it! I've got bug spray on! You're supposed to die! Stop killing me! It will. It will. Alright, you land here, buddy. No, 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 no. Let, land, L land, land, <laughs> land, land. There you go. All right. Uh, let's give you some more of the honey. But you know what we can do? We put bug spray on both of us. Maybe they'll be less aggressive. Okay, that's two. There's normally one around here. There we go. Underneath the little waterfall. It's nice that things spawn into regular places. Makes life easier. Oh, any chance there's an otter in here? I think the map is otterless now, chat. There's no otters left. Okay, so who's um who out of the Vadams crew, if you guys are still here and willing to talk, um, who's excited for ASA? Who's going to be playing some ASA on release? I know there's uh, a bit of hesitancy about it a little bit because of some of the release stuff, but uh, is anyone anyone genuinely excited? I know I am. Okay. All right, yeah, I think it was because our bird was too close last time. It didn't have any bug spray on it. Yep. 
Okay, so as long as we got bug spray and we take honey, they won't attack. Okay, beautiful. Hey, I say better be good. I'm not that excited though. I'm I'm cautiously optimistic, Acre. Cautiously optimistic, mate. I, I want it to be good, so I'm just gonna pretend that it's gonna be good until it proves me otherwise. <laughs> All right, there's usually a couple more beehives just over this side as well. We got a pack of iguanodons here guarding a nest. If I try and get this honey, they'll attack me. I don't really want to fight a pack of iguanodons right now. I definitely don't want to fight two griffins. All right. What is worse than stepping on a Lego? The existential crisis that is life. <laughs> All right, Fred, Fred, do we need to sit down and have a chat, mate? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of griffins throughout here. I mean, he's, I know he's not wrong, but still. <laughs> I think we'll get ASA, maybe not on release day, or whatever that will be. All right, well, you can watch me. I'm going to get it on release, and I'm, I'm going to have the community server up as soon as I can, and I'm going to be streaming it. So you'll get a chance to see me play if it's any good before you have to invest in it, Tommy. Uh, and then if it's absolute trash, I, I completely understand <laughs> if you don't get it. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So we got our honey now. Okay. Now let's try and get the oil on the way past without freezing to death. You know the scene in Lord of the Rings with the Fellowship sees that flock coming towards them so they all hide under the bushes? That's what otters do when Kai comes flying. <laughs> all right, Silver. Yeah, I, and as I said, Silver, I am excited to have a community cluster up again and play with everyone, but... Do keep in mind, Silver, the island is a small map <laughs> and we will have a lot of people interested in playing. So you'll have to build small detail, my friend. <laughs> no giant messes to begin with. <laughs> All right, yeah, so those busted trees over there is where the pumps are if we don't freeze to death. We don't have an otter. Okay, we... What? I just... I flew into the snow and now we're overheating. Does anyone else see a problem with that? <laughs> and, and now we're frozen. Mother of... game. Okay. Well, game. Game. Get your act together. Uh, Scorched is not at release anymore. It's going to be the island... And then come December, I think, is Scorched and Ragnarok. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think that that's their, their rollout plan at this point. Oh, we're not freezing here. That's nice. Okay, well, let's grab some oil. Yep, plenty of oil. Okay, perfect. We got oil. We got honey. We did not find an otter, but we're most of the way where we want to be. Well, they've increased the render distance as well, they said. So bases and stuff will render in from further away, which is actually going to... It sounds like a bad thing to me, because if you're playing with a lot of people on the server, it means that like if you're, it's going to be harder to separate bases. Hey, did there be no cryos? I, I'm on the fence about that one, Acre. It's definitely going to make things harder. But I'm curious to try the caves without dinos because we've all got kind of the the way to beat the caves down with dinos these days. But like the Pelovia cave in the frost on the island without dinos, that's going to be it's going to be a thing like that's going to be hard. And I'm curious to try it out. No cryos and no speed leveling. Yeah, I don't care about speed leveling. I don't use speed. 
I just kill stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, says Breast. I'm with you, Breast. I'm excited. The graphics gonna be better. The Dino AI is gonna be better. There's some tweaks. Chance to start fresh. I'm excited. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, all right? No Mega Ethereum for the cave. I know the gas cave. The gas cave, the swamp cave, without a Mega Ethereum. <laughs> That's going to be hard. Well, the question is, what other dinos can you use? Because you can, like, you could walk a dino into some of those caves. Like, would a raptor be small enough to fit through the opening? And would it even be worth taking a raptor in, or would it just get murdered? Like, are people going to start using different dinos, or are they just going to start figuring it out without dinos? It's going to be interesting. Frogs are good. Yeah, the frog's quite small as well. I wonder if the frog will fit through. Just breed them inside? Yeah, I've heard about that. The old-fashioned way. Throw a baby out and let it grow up inside. Okay. Honey, sap, and oil. Let's pull that off you. You've got some eggs. Perfect. Actually, I wanted these eggs for kibble, so you can go here. Okay. We need some water, because I'm overheating. So, oil, sap, let's just pull everything in. And no S plus pulling. I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss this a lot, chat. <laughs> okay. All right, we have to fix my pants. We've got a better shotgun. We just made the last one. But that is a lot better. How much metal is that going to cost me? Oh, it's not too bad. All right. So we'll craft that. We'll repair. Oh, we need to get the honey out before that expires. So let's pull bee honey. Okay. How will you fix your skin since the health is full and it isn't a debuff? I won't. We're just, this is, this is part of our journey. We are now cooked. This is part of our journey, Moon. <laughs> we'll have this vision uh, to come back to, Kai. I don't think I've a Mega Ethereum in ASA when it's released. Uh, yeah, you will. A Mega Ethereum's a basic dino. They're not removing any dinos. Heck, they're even keeping the upgraded dinos, like, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the uh, big bug, the Rinio Gnathia is going to be in. I'm pretty sure they're not removing any dinos, Tommy. Okay. So we got that. We need to repair that guy and that guy. It's a good thing we've been out there just searching for resources. Ah, I'm out of... Whoa! I actually finally went through all that poly. I had half a thing full of shagreen. Oh, we're down on... Okay. Well, we're going to have to go get some more of that soon. I guess that means an underwater trip. Okay, so we've got a new shoddy. Get rid of the old shoddy. Okay, that, 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 and that. We need some more metal arrows. Bowler can go down there again. All right. So we need some more chagrin. Uh, artifact pedestals. And artifact. Did you make a grinder? Not yet. 
Oh, and actually now we might be out of the stuff for a grinder. Okay. Uh, oh, wrong level. Wrong level. We need to be a level up from that. Okay, so, one, and one here, okay, so we have the artifact of the strong, and what's the other one we haven't put there, that one, I think, yep, alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just the two so artifact to go. All right, so now we need a grinder. We need some more poly, which is chagrin in this. Let's have a look. Grinder. 600 poly. Yeah, we don't have any poly left. Okay, so time to go on an underwater adventure again, which I really don't enjoy, but... Um, okay. Get rid of you, 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 and you. We can't use any of this underwater, so there's no point taking it with us. Can't use you, can't use you, or you. Uh, we don't need them, we can't use that or that, so we'll save those for later. We'll leave you two there, and that in there. Okay, so what we need, just in case we need to do some damage underwater, is our good crossbow. There we go. Some regular old arrows. That'll work. So just in case we need to do damage under the water, we will take scuba. Can you make a gas mask? It helps with vision. See, I've never found the gas mask makes it any better. I just don't, I just usually don't even wear a mask. One, two, three. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. And we'll grab that. Yeah, I prefer to go without the mask entirely, but then your stamina drops. Okay, let's have a look here. What are we doing? We've got all the resources. We needed a grinder. I haven't tried it in first person. Yeah, I, I always play in first person, but it's the same. Okay, so we need raw meat. There we go. Perfect. We got raw meat. We'll get some more fish while we're down there. We got plenty of hay. Okay, dinos are fed. Come here, hook. Oh, actually, one other thing I'm going to do, just in case we find a Bacillosaurus, chat, we are going to take kibble. If we find a Bacillosaurus, baby. <laughs> kibble. Kibble. Okay. Make a chair in case you run out of stamina. Uh, mm, True. Oh, we might leave my armor here too. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, okay, anyway. Kibble, this guy. We need sweet cakes. So, vegetarian, this guy. Oh, that's why we got... Yep, that's right. Um, if we make... I have five gargantuan eggs. Which would mean 15 sweet cakes. Okay. On rag, the gas mask completely removes the water in first person. Really? Huh. Okay. Kibble, this guy. Give me five of them. Cooked lamb chops. Ah, damn it. We're short on lamb. Okay, well, we've got sweet cakes and stuff to use. You know what? We could kill one of our sheep. Can I harvest my own sheep if I kill it? I don't even know if I can kill my own sheep, to be honest. Nah. Shoot it in the eye, apparently. Um, okay. We don't have enough lamb. The only way for me to kill it would be with an S-plus gun. Kind of don't want to kill my own sheep, though. Can use a sword. We really want to kill... I guess I could breed more sheep, couldn't I? Okay, let's put my armor away for now. Uh, we do have a sword somewhere, I think.
think. Slaughter in the E menu. Oh, there's an option for that? What? Oh. Oh, that's... Okay. Okay. Okay, what is the best thing to harvest uh, mutton? Is it a sword? Is it an axe? Is it... What is it? What is the best thing to harvest mutton, chat? Okay, slow down, dude. You, you, you're getting away. Harvest wool. Four wool. Chainsaw? Chainsaw. Okay. I don't think we have a chainsaw. I don't know if we have enough poly to make a chainsaw, but we could try. Do I have a chainsaw already? I don't think so. Alright, let's see. Alright, we can make a chainsaw. <laughs> let's chainsaw this sheep. Chainsaw. Pretty sure I've got some gas in that place somewhere. There we go. Alright. So, chainsaw our sheep. Let's do it. This has just turned into Texas Massacre real fast here. Meh! Oh, we got bugger all mutton out of that. I think the I think the harvesting with the pit with the bird gave us more. Did we get at least six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, just. Okay. Really didn't get much out of that. The snail does produce no, the snail produces paste. Paste moon. Remember to level up its HP before you harvest? Ah, okay, that's where we went wrong. Yep, well, you're a little slow on that one. <laughs> okay. It's already dead now. Alright, have some gasoline. Acatina paste. Yep, that's it. Replacement to cementing paste. Alright, so we've got 16 top end kibble. And let's see, can we make... Perfect, we can make some more of this one. No, okay, we can't make any more of that and I don't want to use the mushroom. Or that kibble. So let's put that away. I know when I put a single snail and a single beetle in the terminal, organic poly was being produced. Yeah, I... I don't know. Again, weird personal choice. I, I get it. Um, I haven't been using the terminal to produce resources. I, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. My logic is that part of the mod is that you have to feed and look after your dinos and harvest resources so i was trying not to do it the, the cheeky way in the terminal so the only reason i have the terminal is just uh is is because of the cryo sickness i was sick of dealing with cryo sickness all right hold that chainsaw in case i need to murder someone later <laughs> All right, so let's put on all of this. Let's go. So we're looking, so we need to kill some sharks and stuff to get shagreen, which is easy enough. And then we want to find a Bacillosaurus pack, chat. Oh, there's a Plezzy. Plezzy would be fun. Actually, before we leave, because for some stupid reason, the crocodile doesn't eat fish. I don't know what the deal is with that. Crocodile that doesn't eat fish. It's a crocodile. <coughs> I want to tame your baby. 
Can I tame your baby? Rawr, rawr, rawr. I don't know if your baby will tame after it watches me chew you up though. Alright, there we go. Uh, you have to be there to get it. I have snails on the hitching post to wander on. They produce one to two poly a day. Uh, yeah, the, and the terminal also significantly increases the um, production rate. Like, if I put my bee in the terminal instead of having it out, I, I'd, have, I'd have all of the honey we need. But again, trying not to do that. <laughs> I'm trying not to bypass the challenge of the mod. But that's just my personal choice. Just cut myself a piece of cheese. It was sharp. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so it will eat fish if I force feed it, but it won't eat fish passively, which is super irritating. Hey, you. You with the mantis face. Alright, manta is down. Can we get chagrin off this guy here? I think most of the underwater dinos give it. Yep, there we go. Poly fish grinder otter. Nah, I didn't do the chair thing, Moon. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Do I, I have a baby dolphin pushing me around right now, don't I? Yep. Don't push me away, I'm harvesting here. Hey, hey. Ah, crap, no, that's a shark. That's not a baby, that's a shark. <laughs> You're not a baby. Jerk face. Now I gotta start again. Ugh. <laughs> don't start it mikey if i sing that on stream dryad will punch me <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to head out sorry rough day for me to talk to you one later. not a problem jen i hope your day gets better sorry to hear you're having a bad day why doesn't the cheddar hang out with a knife he has greater plans <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Two twenty two. Nice. I mean, sharks, oh, this is a low-level shark, okay. Do anything better than dad jokes? Cheesy dad jokes. Yeah, right? I think that's why Jen's leaving. <laughs> the cheese jokes. She doesn't find them very uh, appealing. Okay, where are we going? We're looking for more stuff to kill and we're looking for a bazzy baby. Bazzy baby. Oh, where did that baby plezio just go? Let's go see if we can tame that thing. Oh, actually, no. No, no, no. Focus, Kai. Focus. It'll take forever to tame it. Even if we can. Okay, that guy's down. Got a new shark coming in because every shark hunts in a pack. There's a gloom in the chat. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> I can do anything better than you. I'm afraid for the calendar, it stays a numbered. Ah, Aka, you're, you're, you're a little late on that one, mate. That joke has come up so many times. It's a good one. It's a classic. <laughs> Hey, Aker, why did the guy get fired from the calendar factory? 
because he was taking too many days off. Uh, have it taught and that is everything yep right <clears throat> okay no we're not ah crap 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 shark many 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 sharks Okay, the sharks are dead. Beautiful. Okay, this is how we get shagreen, chat. At least this one's fairly easy to harvest in this uh, this mod. Once I once I learned I could get this from sharks, we stopped chasing down mantises for organic poly. Oh, come on already! Is everybody done? Is everybody done? Would you all stop trying to bite me? What is the cheese of Halloween? What is the cheese of Halloween, Silver? Monster? Ah, yes. Yes, fair. Walk straight into that one. What kind of old cheese plays basketball? Swish cheese. <laughs> You're not getting any better, but I love it. All right, we should probably grab some angler gel while we're doing a water trip as well, chat. Angler gel and a bazzy. That's what we're looking for. Alright. I don't know which ones we've harvested. I'm pretty sure the teeth are delta implants. We don't need delta anymore. I mean, it was a good place to start. Because Delta was what an RG saddle was, I'm pretty sure. So, at the start, killing a shark for uh, a tooth is probably the easiest way to get that implant charged. Want a mod? No, no, no. Okay, we already got yours. Okay. Hold on to all this for me, mate. Okay, uh, getting kind of heavy, so we can't go too, too much further away from home. Should we go down and see if we can find an angler at least? More sharks. As long as we don't see a Tuso or swim into a pack of jellies, we should be okay. Yeah, those jellies, are they coming here? I don't trust jellies. Bazzies are typically quite shallow creatures, aren't they? They don't really go deep in the ocean. They're quite shallow, they're all about looks. Are you out of stamina? Gotta watch out for the zombies on Halloween. Ah. Hey, there's an angler. You found me. Well, that was convenient of you, buddy. Convenient to come and donate your gel to us. Accidentally ate his corpse. Ah, damn it. Alright, well, there's one down here. I didn't mean to chomp his corpse. Is there any more? Okay. Come here. Uh, they straight up take damage if they go deep, so no. Okay, I believe they actually start taking damage at low depths. Yeah, that's true.
All right, a little bit of angler gel. All right, I don't really want to fight them. Okay, my Sarko is getting kind of heavy. So let's go drop this Shagreen off before we fight a million more things. And that probably gives us enough poly now to make the grinder. All right, we'll get some fish meat on the way home. Put that in the thingies. All right. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese! I forgot to pick up some new chips yesterday, chat. I got me a seven layer dip. I love a good seven layer dip, but I got no chips to dip into it. Gonna have to go find some chips at lunchtime. Ooh, a red drop. Ooh, a red drop. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, oh, we should go grab them. We should go grab them. Oh, do we need anything? I think we're being greedy now. Maybe not. Let's focus, Chad. Focus up. Okay, you stay there for a second, buddy. Take this off. Man, that skin, that skin looks like it's a little rough. Okay, so let's pull... Uh, I don't know if I can pull the chagrin. I cannot pull the chagrin. Ugh. I'm going to have to literally walk it in step by step. That's going to be annoying. Why did the vampire order cold medicine? Because he was just coughing too much. <laughs> uh. All right. Okay, put all of that in there. 20, is it 20 to a stack? It's only 20 to a stack, so that was only a couple of hundred. I don't think that gets us a lot. Is that enough? Actually, let's get rid of this angler gel and fish. Yeah, yeah, true breast, very true. All right, you got plenty of angler gel. You got enough. Okay. Let's pull in some fish meat from our fish eaters. Done. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So that's done. That's done. You're now a bit lighter. We can put the tooth somewhere. And you've got some meat. Okay. Cool. Tooth goes in here to charge up an implant. We don't need to be carrying that guy. Okay. I think we're good. Now we got to go look for this Bazzy again. In fact, that's our only... Actually, if we can make the grinder, then the Bazzy is where we're up to. Beautiful. All right. Made a pencil with two erasers. It was pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's a grinder. And let's try this. Where's the saddles? Where's the saddles? I'm never, ever, ever going to use... Where'd that quet saddle go? Where did that quet saddle go? Did I put you in here? Uh-oh, where did I put that quet saddle? Where the heck did I put that quet saddle? Ha! Ah, okay. Where are we going to put our grinder? I'm running out of space in my tiny little base. Um, running out of space. <laughs> uh, maybe in this building over here. I wonder how far the power will reach. How far does the power reach from this guy? I can't show range hmm maybe we just put it here okay ready uh foundations let's get three of them and then a ramp don't need 31 ramps just one back okay 
Okay. That's there. Little ramp up. Bam, right there. And then we're going to put this guy. There. All right. I need to get rid of this raft here. That's got my troppy on it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Grinder. Grind. Resources, resources, and it gives you primitive quet saddles. Oh my god, check that out. Look at the resources. Grind again. Oh, 15 alpha saddles. Chat, it works. It works. Oh my god, we've got 15 alpha saddles. And metal, and, and silk, and bloody everything. Okay. Heck yes. Okay. All right. All right. That's pretty sweet. I don't think I can carry that many. Can't carry that many. Let's do half. Uh... What did you just grind? So I found a, um, I, I, another alpha saddle, Goku. So that was a Quetz platform saddle, which I knew I wasn't going to use. And so by grinding up a, a saddle of equivalent level, it breaks it down to the hunted components. And in this case, the hunted components is the saddles. That is a sweet trick. So now... These saddles that I said we were never, ever, ever going to get because we can't charge a blinking alpha implant, we can make Rexes, we can make Moses, we can make a Bazzy saddle. Spinos, Giga, a UD saddle, so we can get a UD now. Nice. And a Tuso. All right, beautiful. That is a sweet trick. And we got a ton of resources off it too. Oh, is one of these red drops still up here? Or they, do, do we delay too much? I should go chase those down just for saddles to break out. Hot damn. Yeah, right, Goku? That's insane. I never thought of that. Someone came in earlier and gave me that suggestion. That is a game changer in the hunted because alpha saddles are freaking hard. Why WC put a limit on the resource you get back when you're grinding things? Is it S-Bus remove that limiter? I don't know. I don't know, Run. I don't know, mate. All right, let's go, chat. We're looking for a Bazzy. Don't stop for anything else. We're looking for a Bazzy. We'll just swim around the whole damn island if I have to. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save my gas as well. We'll just go up and down. must feel nice on my skin right now my Anakin Skywalker skin suggest building a raft with X plants or turrets on it yeah I, I've seen a lot of people do that acre I I didn't want to do that I, I played a different way I spent a lot before I got the RG and the Sarko and stuff I spent a lot of time like running around on foot like doing it the, uh, the old-fashioned way mate the pumpkin emote is very cute, isn't it? Yeah, I saw a lot of people. Oh, there's a Bazzy. Oh my god. Perfect. Perfect. Are the parents going to attack me? Okay, now we get our gas on. And we're going to burn. We're going to use the best kibble we can. Are you going to attack me? You are going to attack me. Okay, so we got to kill the parents. There was a baby here. Another one coming in. Okay, there's one down. There is a baby here. Somewhere over there. There it is. There it is. Alright, so we're going to take these out. Hope the baby calms down and try and feed it. 
Hope the baby calms down after we murderize its parents. <laughs> this is this mod is a little dark. It is a little dark. Where do mozzarella, parmesan, and cheddar stay in the summer? A cottage cheese house. Uh, <laughs> oh, Fred. I'm loving this today, mate. Loving the energy. And you've got some health on you, don't you? Stepped out for two minutes and missed the Pokemon. Ah, no. Well, there'll be another one in 12 minutes. Oh my crap. Jeez, you've got some health, don't you, mate? What are you? Are you a 150? You are a 150. Alright. Good thing we've got an Ascendant Saddle on. Woo! Okay. Alright. Adults are dead. 23% with an extraordinary kibble. Nice. I'm glad we made extraordinary kibble. TK said he was at like friggin' 20 of the kibble below this to get one, and I didn't want to go through that. What up, Doc? How's it going, mate? I wanted to make a pizza joke, but it was too cheesy. <laughs> I think I saw another baby swim off that way. So after we get this first one, we might try and get a second one as well, chat. What's up, you, uh, ocean sausage? Oh, how long do you have between tames? This is going to be the next question. Oh, there's another bat. There's just an adult bazzy over there. Ocean sausage! Look at it! It's an ocean sausage. Hey, there we go. 46%. It wasn't too bad. It was a lot quicker than... What were we trying to feed the other day that was just taking absolutely forever? If that ain't an ocean sausage, I don't know what is. But it is the best underwater tame in, in the game, in my opinion. Challenge anyone to co contradict me. It's immune to Tussos, it's immune to Jellies, it's immune to Electric Eels. After the first round of cheese, drinks more beer. Oh, I don't, I don't know that cheese. Hey, Fred, hey, Fred. What did the Greek cheese when it say, say when it saw itself in the mirror? Hello, me. <sighs> all right little ocean sausage let's do this so you're the male if we can find a female game changer chat game changer and now we can actually make saddles for them oh my god we're gonna be able to get the Tuso artifact without sacrificing anything oh where'd you go where'd you go there he is Come on, buddy. Get hungry. You can do it. I got faith in you. Come on. Come on. I got some tasty candy for you. Ooh, he's trying to hide, chat. Ooh, sneaky. Sneaky. Alright. One more kibble. One more kibble. And then we'll go see if we can find the female. I think I saw a baby swim off. But it was even smaller than this one. Look at his little back legs. Look at his stumpy little back legs. The, um, the plankton in the water here makes it so hard to see anything.
I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be, like plankton, seaweed, something like that. I've always just assumed plankton. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All right, while we wait for that, put you there. Yes! <laughs> Bizarre chat! Stop, stop. Huzzah! Uh, there's the other one. There's the other one. Wild male baby. Mmm. It's another male. But you know what? It could be good to have a backup. Could be good to have a backup. Should we get the backup chat? I feel like we should. I mean, it's right here. Be kind of rude not to. We can't breed them. But then at least if one goes poof, <laughs> we've got someone to help out. Heck to the year! Alright, 17 deaths. 83 game days so far. And we've got 10 of 11 artifacts. All we need is this last artifact, which the Bazzi will basically guarantee us. Once we get some levels into it. And then uh, and then we have to breed up whatever boss dinos we're going to take in. So now that we can get alpha saddles, I want to go look for a UD again, chat. We do have a date on already. Maybe we go... Do we go try and find another Rex egg? Oh, oh there was baby Rexes. Oh, I think we've done a dino wipe since we saw those, though. There was baby Rexes over in the Highlands. But we didn't have the kibble at the time. But I think we wiped those. Mind your stamina. Oh yeah, good shout. Hey Hook, can you come here? Come here, Hook. Alright. Let's just get some stamina back here. Where is an arrow? A bow? Oh, no, that didn't give us back my stamina. I looked at his stamina. Give me back my stamina already. Alright, you should be close to needing another kibble. Not quite. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we got one Rex. We got a couple of. I mean, we could breed a Spino army. Did we figure out if we can take Spinos into the boss? Although it is the dragon, so I'm kind of like the Theries still seems like a good idea if we can find a male Thery so we can start breeding them. Easier saddles too. Can't believe I didn't think about breaking down saddles. What a genius idea! Hey, little guy. Hello, pack bleed with the dragon. Well, I mean, if I'm going to use pack bleed, I could also just use the. Uh, I'm going to take in a couple of um, a couple of um, fluffy chickens, uh, dinonuchuses, because yeah, they do the bleed as well. Okay, there's a couple of plezies over there. I really don't want to aggro. Hey, little dude, come back. Don't go near the plezies. Don't go near the plezies. Come back this way. Good dot. Bleed is bleed. True. So I think, um... Yeah, I think we'll take a couple of dino nutrients for the bleed. We'll take... Uh, we're going to take a collection of dinos. I'm not going to breed up an army of rexes or, or something. But we'll take a collection of dinos in. Everyone gets a chance. Maybe we'll take Hook in with us. We'll take Hook, we'll take Rubber Ducky, we'll take Lady Rex a lot, a couple of Dino Nutrices, we got a pig. If we can get a Yudi, that'd be pretty sweet. Overseer doesn't have blood. He is a collection of nanites. 
Cheese jerks cracking me up. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Stay. Alright, two bazzies. Perfect, okay. That is exactly what we wanted. Okay, so now we've got our bazzies. Oxygen's still good. We got the shagreen to make the grinder. So we don't need that anymore. So we can really just, we can head home now. We Okay, so now we gotta grow these bazzies up. And then put some levels in them, get them some saddles. So until the bazzies get up to strength, we're not gonna go fight a two so. What else do we need to do in the meantime, chat? Uh we need to go find some more Rex eggs, maybe. Find a Therry egg, maybe. So we just need to go look for some more boss dinos so I don't have to breed too much. This is, uh, this is going all right. Are you not eating your fish, good sir? Eat the fish. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, come over here, croc boy. Alright, there you go. You can chill out on your ledge again. Beautiful. Now we need to grow up these babies without anything attacking them. Which we should be able to do right here. Alright, you guys chill out there. Uh, we might give you a bit of food while you're in baby form. Okay. Okay. So they're going to make me oil as well. These guys are making me venom now. God, I like this mod. This mod is so much fun. Okay. Got to do something. Be back soon. Not a problem, Silver. Probably going to take a lunch, five minute lunch break in a minute here and grab some food. Uh, by which I mean I'm going to run downstairs and get some chips to go with my dip. <laughs> Let's grab out our stuff. Okay. So we need otters. We need otters and dinos. So I guess we're going to go for a bit of a taming while these 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 boys grow up, eh, chat? That's going to be our next thing. We're going to go tame some stuff while our sea sausages grow up. Okay, we got a shoddy there. We got my bow there. Crossbow there. Leave the good crossbow. Grapples in that one. Alright. Perfect. What is the name of the song playing right now? This song is called Valhalla Calling. By Miracle of Sound. Great song, right? The band is awesome. Okay, we don't need regular arrows now. Okay, kibble, kibble, kibble. Cool, cool, cool. All right, be back soon. Barbecue tastes better. <laughs> it is a good song. It is, yeah. Miracle of Sound. I can highly recommend them. They're good fun. Kind of like Viking rock. It, it goes. It goes very well with Ark. Oh, we got eggs. You've just been laying eggs like a champion here. All right, uh, here you go, mate. Have some poop. I think we're doing pretty good on the old fertilizer front, to be honest. And we're getting pretty close to the end of this now. Okay. Okay. There is an acapella version on YouTube that's also really good. Nice. 
All right, so we're all, still over 100,000 in all of these. Yeah, yeah, we're good on fertilizer now, I think. Okay. All right, let's put the rest of this fertilizer down while I'm holding it. And then I'm going to take a quick five-minute break. When we do a five-minute break, you guys want to play some words on stream? Or should we just put on some... Uh, no room for more fertilizer. Oh, what? Oh, you guys are full. Okay, we're going to pull thatch out. Uh, words on stream or some clips. What are we thinking? All right, so we need... Take all of that out. Okay. Okay. Then we can put more fertilizer in. Okay. Uh, collab with different artists to it. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, we're just going to dump all our resources in here. How are we doing? We're fairly low on cementing paste again. Although I don't think we really need much else to make at this point. We've got tons of metal, sap, shagreen, stone. We're doing pretty good on almost every front. Now that we've got this can grind up stuff. Oh my god, that is a game changer. What other saddles do we have that we're not going to use? We've got an Ascendant Barry Saddle. I might use that. Chalic Ethereum, Gallimimus. Nothing else in the Ascendant phase. We're never going to use Diplos. Yeah, let's break down these Diplo Saddles. I'm never going to bother with a Diplo. Do I need to take some of the stuff out of here first, though? Like, otherwise it's going to grind it, isn't it? Yeah, I think we might have to exit some of the stuff out of here so it doesn't get ground up any further. I don't know. Wait a second. Let's try. Okay, it doesn't grind down any further than that. That's alright then. Oh my god. Oh, what? We didn't get saddles that time. What? I'm so confused. So it only works with some of them? We didn't get saddles that time. Oh, that's super weird. So, huh. So it doesn't work for all of them. It doesn't work for all saddles, chat. I don't know if it's a certain creature or a certain level of saddle or what, but it doesn't work for all saddles. I mean, 19 alpha implants, just no alpha DNA. Okay. Well... We will eat and drink so we don't die. Gonna sit on the back of a dino. So our food and water doesn't drain. I'm gonna leave this on so the sausages grow up. But we're gonna go on to uh onto clips while I take a quick bio and lunch break chat. So I'll be back in no more than a couple of minutes. Um, and then we will try and get the last artifact today. That's the, the goal today is to get the last artifact. If we can find a couple more dinos to start breeding up for the boss, awesome. If not, we'll figure that out. But it means that we're basically, once we get the last artifact, we just have to go fight the boss when we're ready. Um, which is going to be sweet. Which means we're going to be able to beat the hunted, which has uh, been such a fun mod to be playing uh but anyway do me a favor stick around for a couple of minutes enjoy these uh these clips i'll put you back on the clips uh don't forget to take clips if you see something that's interesting i'm gonna start to try and turn clips into um into uh tiktoks as well so if you see funny things on the stream or interesting things or silly things or whatever don't forget to do a clip and then uh and then we can take a look at them later see you in a few minutes everyone Arthur and John are the only two with morals, chat. Do you like the vest? See my vest. See my vest. Made from real through the chest. One of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons. <laughs> Great song. Yeah, I couldn't get the second one. It's just not working, so I give up. I give up. Not we're not having them. They're extinct. They're not they're not coming on my boat, CD. They're dead. 
they are dead. And this is the last one right here. This one right here. There you go. There you go. That's how I feel about Trudon's chat. Right there. Spike it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go mine something. Oh, gold. That was fantastic. Some element ore. Oh, you can get element ore in uh, in in aberration. Didn't know that. I thought um, thought uh, extinction was the first place you could really start to mine element. Oh, I'm gonna take a quick look and cool down. Boom. Oh. I've been making a dodo army for two years. How strong are your dodos, DJ? Don't say Just that because then it's gonna be obvious. Stop making me paranoid, friend. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't know this map very well. I don't like this game, chat. <laughs> who, who, who would volunteer to come to this toy store and play this game, eh? Oh. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that one. Wasn't ready for that one. Ah. I mean, any exercise you do often enough becomes easy, right? I mean, that's the thing of training. You train for this. Whoa! Freaking bat! The bat got me again. Every time. Same one. I know. Every time you walk into this part of the cave, a bat. Oh, there's a cow! Why am I dying to a cow? No, reload, you bugger! Oh, damn it! Bit slow there, kitty. Run away, run away, run away. Zigzag, chat, zigzag! Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh god! Ah! Ah! Still alive! I'm still alive! Lay down, maybe they won't see you. <laughs> oh god, I'm out of stamina. Oh, that's so many monkeys! So many monkeys! Look at all the freaking monkeys! <laughs> hey, I want to kill the damn manticore! Oh god, I hear him! I hear him! I'm out of stamina. I can't get my stamina back. For God's sake, give me my stamina back. <laughs> Come on, please. Please. I just want some stamina. Ah, oh, no. No. We were doing so good. <laughs> uh, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us, Smithy. Appreciate you for the raid. Welcome in. Hey, it's the creepy red lady. How's it going? Everyone by right. <laughs> and if you get this one right, I'll wrestle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange the Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Bert, Ernie, the Count. Ernie, Bert, the Count. Bert, Ernie, the Count. The Count, Bert, Ernie. <laughs> what tried to attack me just there? All right, we failed one. Oh, God, there he is. There's Kong. <laughs> There's a Kong chat. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, name Rex after Shannon. Should name it Shannon because she went offline. Right, that's all the poly <laughs> there. All right, but Vaughn, you came from Shannon's crew, so, so we need gunpowder for the rocket. On you. There you go. <laughs> all right, there we go. So so we got can the <laughs> Battle over! End of fight! The cry for death brought forth this night. The spill of blood! The gnash of teeth! <laughs> Come forth to feed the Fenrir! The beast! Funky? Something's supposed to happen. Long live Funky! Um, no one killed me! <laughs> 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 we go there and back, and we'll get. 
a day's labor out of that water and then we'll have to do it again. We have to basically go there well, no, once a day. No, we make some deer skins and then we can store it. True. Also true. Alright. Oh, uh, you just I, knocked I, down I... our fence! You broke the fence, ham slice! You lied! You lied! Um, I filled up my deer skin and had one sip out of it, which filled me completely up, and I still have 60% water left. Okay, so we need to kill. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> that's definitely dirty dishwater. Welcome back, Sam. How was dinner, buddy? What'd you guys have for dinner tonight? Are you fucking kidding me? We have to get him to do a handful of them. <laughs> Alright. What's this one? Pomegranate or something nasty? Oh! Oh, that's a band-aid! Oh, that's two bad ones in a row, Dungy! Oh, why are you doing this to me? All right, all right, all right, all right. Here, here we go, here we go. Find one. Why do you never see anyone with a nose that's 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. To be up close. Got him. It's giant. Uppercut for the win! Oh, down to my left, to my left! Alright, alright, alright. Zumani, welcome in. Thank you for the hydrate. We just got some fresh water, actually. The game with the questions. Oh, those are Jackbox. Jackspo Jackbox party packs, Moon. There's many, many of them, and they have a whole bunch of different games. They're quite easy and fun to play with friends, especially during COVID when we were all in lockdown because it's all online. You can also play it really easily at a party because normally you you run the main thing on like one computer or one TV and then everyone um, plays on their phone. Yeah, Aker, I've heard, I, know, I know of Monarchy. I know I played... Uh, I played with a couple of the monarchy people on when they were doing architect stuff so back in the building days um and i know a couple of my friends like uh cobra she's awesome she's currently playing on the monarchy servers all right oh yes we should definitely uh crap i forgot about imprint must have gone to walk Wants to be fed kibble. Okay. You want to go on a walk? Let's go. Come on. I can't swim far, buddy. There we go. All right, so we've got a 50% impl imprint. I forgot about the imprints. I don't know if we can have time to get the other one. Oh, they're not even half grown yet. Yeah, we'll get it. All right, Moon, are you still here? Or oh, somebody wants to set a timer for me. We need to come back in 10 minutes. We need to come back in 10 minutes and get the second half of that imprint because that's going to be super useful if we're going to be fighting two so's with those little guys. Alright, 10 minutes to imprint. While we wait on that, what do we need? We need eggs and we need otters. Thank you very much, Moon. We really need otters so I don't have to keep drinking Kaylee and soup. Okay, let's keep all of this. I guess we'll take some soup for now. But I can't wear most of my armor. Yeah, there we go. We start getting hot immediately. It's only a little hot, so it's not too, too bad. But it will slowly kill us. Alright. Where's another good place to find otters, chat? We need to find some otters again. There's got to be some left on the map, surely. Hmm. -mm. Oh, 
All right. So now we've got some advanced weaponry. We can take our Megatheriums and our Theries into the fight. We've got a Rex. We've got a couple of Spinos. There's definitely going to be a pile of nonsense going into this boss fight. But we've done that before in one. So why not now? Oh, you got no meat left. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay, so we need to get you some meat. Who wants to be meat for my RG? You look like you want to be meat for the RG. But yeah, Jackbox games are pretty fun, Moon. We did it during um, one of our community nights. Some of the some of the comments that came out were pretty darn funny. Let me move that microphone away a little bit. She didn't have to listen to me chew. <laughs> River at 71, 66. Well, I mean, green OB, isn't that? Oh, no, that's blue. Oh, yeah, green OB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a look at that river on our way home when we stopped for the bee honey. I didn't see anything there. Man, when we're out on the... Maybe we need to be on the canoe again to do this. Uh, yeah, actually, we could grab the canoe over here in Viking Bay. Because when I was on the canoe paddling around it, it was easier, like... Otters would come towards us. Otters seem to like humans. Not me, but most humans. Here, otter, 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 otter. Where are you guys at? Plus, we need a trike or a parasaur or something we can get some meat out of. Need to take it back for the imprint. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to go too far either. That's why I'm kind of just looking around Viking Bay. Man, you got some health on you, buddy. Can I have my arrows back? There we go. Can I have my arrows back now? Thank you. Perfect. Let's give some meat to our RG. So if we just have a look around Viking Bay here, and in this cave, the waterfall cave, hopefully we can find some otters in here before we have to head back for the imprint. And then if that doesn't work, we've got to figure out something else. That should hold you up for a bit.
Hey, otter, 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 otter. We got any otters kicking around? Anyone spawned in here yet? It's really annoying that I can't shoot a bow underwater. I can shoot a crossbow underwater, but not a bow. And I didn't bring any regular arrows. No, I did not. Which means if these fish aggro on us, there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, ah. We're good, chat. We're good. We caught it. Hmm. Okay. That's a no on the orders in here. Hmm. Bara. There's no way we've cleared out every order on the map. <laughs> I'm really regretting not breeding 20 extra otters. We were doing so well for a while there. We hadn't died in so long that I forgot that death was a legit possibility. There's a Quetzal. Ah, crap. Crap. It's also a bloody PT angry, apparently. I wanted to kill the Quetzal. I don't want anything to do with you. Seventy times on the hunted. Yeah, most people's death count is a lot higher than mine. Oof. I um. I would say I have a fairly. I call it cautious playstyle. <laughs> Acre. Very uh, logic. Very very thought out. Uh, when I do things, especially in a mod like this where consequences are high if you do die and lose a bunch of stuff. So I tend to play pretty cautiously. Okay. So now we're back to looking for otters. One minute. Okay. Well, I see if you set it for 10 minutes, like I said, that was three minutes before the imprint because I knew it would take us time to get back. So, yeah. I pre-planned for my own distraction, Janna Moon. Mr. Lava Golem Dangle. Hey, we didn't die to the Dangle, Mikey. We, da we died to the glitch, all right? We only got hit in the face three or four times with a giant rock. It was totally legit. Yeah, I'm getting real tired of this bloody weather. Oh, some, someone said sometimes there's otters near the uh, lava golem cave, right? What about this place? Saw some stuff in the water here. Is it just fish? Fish, 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 fish. Yeah, just fish. Okay. What about here? Fish, 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 fish. Fish, 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 fish. All right. No otters. I, I think they've formed a union. I think they've just left. I, th I think they've had enough, Moon. There are no more otters on Ragnarok.
All right, let's go get our imprint on. They just packed up and left. What do we think, chat? Should we do a dino wipe and just reset and then go out and see what we can find? Or is this the map just sticking it to me for killing my otters? <laughs> dino wipe? That's what I'm thinking. Kickstart a uh, respawn of a few things and see what happens. And then we'll go explore and see if we can find Rexes, Megas, anything. Heck, if we can... Oh, we can't take a Giga in a boss fight. Otherwise, I'd try and see if we can find a Giga. The other's got the memo that you were here. <laughs> Stop sending out memos then, Fred. We don't need we don't need dinos running away from us. Okay. Dino wipe imprint. And then we go looking for um We go looking for some dinos to tame for a while while our bazzies grow up. And then we come back after a little bit. And we uh do what do you want? 13 seconds. That's some good timing. That's some good timing. Look at that timing. What care would you like? What? What care do you want? You want to cuddle? I'll cuddle you. What about you? What do you want? I'll cuddle my sea sausage. Once you go to walk again, dude. I know I don't walk very well in the water, right? Spinos just didn't want to spawn. Yeah, we had a we had a, an issue with um, nests not working properly, Acre. So I did a Dino wipe once for that. Ah, uh, damn, he's kind of stuck. Ah, uh, he's stuck. Okay, we're gonna have to poke a ball him and throw him back out. Oh, right, I have a major problem with Ice Wyvern Overspawn. Ah. But the Ice Wyvern only spawns in Murder Snow, and you can't survive in Murder Snow anyway, so what are you doing out there? Exceptional Kibble, there we go. Bam. Imprint zero, what? Oh, 100%. That was weird. Imprint 100%. All right, we got two imprinted Bazzies. Excellent. Yeah, don't, don't Ice Wyverns only spawn in, in, like, the middle of Murder Snow? It's kind of ironic that you're having troubles with overspawn, Mikey, because so many people have struggles with getting ice wyverns to spawn at all. Wow. Alright. Wipe is done. Give it a minute to start kickstarting some dinos. And then we'll go see what we can find. A wild Ariados. Ariados? I want to say Ariados. There's a Pokemon in the chat. <laughs> There's a bug in the chat. Alright, so so far our boss team is two Therries, two Spinos, a Rex, and two Dinonutrices. A trike and a guanodon, <laughs> an anki and a doed. That's our boss team chat. Oh, a megatherium, a sarco, and a megalania. Nah, we're not gonna die anymore, Moon. We only we only lost the orders to the lava glitch. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> new rule all right we've got everything we need unless i have to kill something underwater so let's actually let's take some basic arrows to put in our regular crossbow because the bow doesn't work underwater so we will need some arrows all right and then we're on an adventure 
I want to find some tames and preferably an otter. Do we have glass arrows? There we go. And where's my better crossbow? Let's get rid of that one and we'll take... I don't even know where I put my ascended crossbow. That one will do. Okay. Always got to have an emergency grapple ready in case my bird lets me down and I have to run away. We just have to wait for a new baby. Get a breeding pair which aren't allowed to leave the base ever. I thought I did that. I swear to God, I thought I did that. I had a male, female. I had like two or three spare babies. I don't know what happened to them. I swear I did that. All right, that's all trash. But yes, we will leave a breeding pair at the base if we can ever find a breeding pair again, Moon. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so Sam and Sad Sam and Sad Work at home parents Yeah you just stay there and keep pumping out little baby otters for us Alright, so often there are otters in this cave. Nothing has respawned yet. No, there's a fish down deep. Okay, what about the back of the cave? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, nothing spawned in here yet. So we should leave some of our armor on just in case something jumps me. Okay, we weren't too hot until we put that oh, on. There we go. Okay, so no one's down there yet. So now there's the lake up above. Some Hesperoni here. A red drop over there. There's a Spino here. The heck is a Spino doing up here? Not seeing any otters. There's a spino in this river. Didn't know you guys came here. Oh, and a sarco. Oh, that reminds me. We should go by the swamps chat and see if we can get another sarco egg or a barry egg or something along those regards. All right. Dangerous place up here. Alright, we're looking for boss dinos. And we're looking for otters. Do you have a Giga? I do not, Ace. I have not found a Giga egg yet. Haven't found a Giga egg just yet. I don't see anyone in the water here. Problem with the dino wipe is it takes a while for some things to spawn back in. Yeah, there's very little that's spawned back in here yet. Do 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 do. So excited, chat. 
So this week, uh, next weekend, we won't be on because uh, it's TwitchCon. I'll be at TwitchCon. I'll try and send some updates in Discord and pictures of me and the others having some fun. Um, but we do have three bonus streams this week because of the um, the sub count that we're at. So we're going to do Monday night, Tuesday night, and, uh, and Thursday morning before I fly out to TwitchCon. So uh, if you're either in the Discord, we'll keep your Twitch notifications on. So we're going to do some bonus streams. Um, Saturdays and Sundays are my regular, normal, always going to happen streams for those that are new around here. And then depending on the sub count, um, we do extra bonus streams throughout the week. I'm not sure what I'm going to do Monday and Tuesday night just yet. Although I do owe a Choo Choo Charles stream. I'm thinking on Thursday, we might try the Enshrouded demo. And we'll keep hunted for the weekends. Because I don't want people who have followed our whole hunted journey up till now miss out on the ending of that journey because I streamed it on a different day. <laughs> Any otters around? Come on! What happens if we go over 700? Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, 500 is... <laughs> I mean, we can go as high as you guys take it, Raz. Um, but 500 would cap out our streams, because that would mean I would be streaming every day. Because Saturdays and Sundays are already guaranteed, and 500 brings us to five bonus streams. I never thought we'd get even this far, let alone that far. So, <laughs> I don't have a plan for anything higher than that. <laughs> they are really, they've really just up and left the map, chat. There is no orders left on the map. Heck, right now there doesn't seem to be any dinos at all on the map. They know, Rikido, they know. I feel like we need to just fly around the map to trigger the respawn to happen, but the problem with that is flying around bloody slow on this dino. <laughs> I mean, it's, I put 50 bonus points in speed, so it's quicker than the regular RG, but it's still not that fast. All right, let's go to the beaver dams. See if there's any orders by the beavers. Do you know what we should have done? Ah, I forgot to grab um, T-Rex and Anki. All right, I need to grab our getting around dinos. I put them away when we went into the, the labyrinth because I wasn't 100% sure we were going to get out of the labyrinth. It would be nice if we could find another Dinopithecus lair and actually get the Dinopithecus this time. So we didn't get one from the last lair that we found. What's up, sheep? Ah! Oh, there's a Chalicotherium family over there. You want something, Ark hides it from you? Sometimes, sometimes when we say, hey, we want this thing, Ark gives it to us, like straight away. Ark is a finicky beast. If your house is cold, why not just stand in the corner? It's 90 degrees there. <laughs> oh, Acre, I like that. That's cute. What a joke. Okay, yeah, the bird is better at getting mutton than the chainsaw. Or, or a wild sheep just gives us better mutton than a tamed one. Because we only got like eight, seven, seven mutton from the chainsawed sheep. Saving his parent, uh, this for parenting later. Okay.
All right, we got Mummy and Daddy Chalic Ethereum down there. A dung beetle right there. All right, otters, 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 otters. Industrious otter, uh, not otters. Those are beavers. Beavers, slightly different to otters. That's a lot of beavers. I don't normally come here without my Rex. This is why we should have the Rex. Could have harvested up some cementing paste. Yeah, well. Oh, is that an otter? No, that's a Trudon. Ah, kill it. Kill it. Look, buddy, I got, I got no beef with you, Carney. I just want to kill the Trudon, all right? Where is it? Where are you, little bugger? Kill it. Kill it, Chad. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Bring a cat and have some kitty on me. I don't own a kitty. Oh, oh, ah, got him. Where are you, bugger? Yeah, now we're going to kill you too. Oh, we're almost out of stamina. Did not look at that. Hopefully this Trudon dies before we run out of stamina. Oh. Okay. Bloody Demorphodons, go away. Freaking pack of Demorphodons just came out of nowhere. Vultures, I tell you. Alright. Eat up, buddy. Eat up. Let's get out of here. Oh, one second. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's another Trudon. Never mind. There's often otters at the bottom part of this waterfall here, isn't there? Oh, is that an otter? That, is that... No, that's not an otter. That's a baby Gallimimus. Ah, you fooled me. There is a single rare spawn. Oh, okay. That fish just jumped out of the water. I didn't know they could do that. Hmm. Okay. No luck at the moment. Well, let's check down here for the Dinopithecus spawn. And then we'll head to the uh, highlands for maybe a wreck spawn, possibly? What up, Scooby Dooby Doo? How are you, my friend? Good to see you, Scooby. Thanks for swinging by. How's your Sunday going so far? Ah! I'm eating seven layer dip and playing Ark. It's going pretty smooth. Getting some soup on. It's getting to the time of year for soup. What's your soup of choice, Scooby? I like a cream of mushroom. Big fan of a cream of mushroom soup. Today is tomato. Ah, uh -huh. you know what's good, Scooby? I used to do it when I worked for the uh, when I was training kids in ski and snowboard. At lunch, we would give them uh, tomato, like a tomato or, or like a red pepper soup, and a grilled cheese. Dip your grilled cheese in your in your red soup, and ah, you're off to the races. It's 
a good combo. Corn chowder with bacon and potatoes. That sounds tasty. That is the best, right? Simple things. Simple things, chat, from when you were younger. Grilled cheese dipped in some tomato or like tomato red pepper soup. Mmm. There's that good stuff. Alright, we're looking for a Rex or a Giga Spawn. I don't think we can't take Gigas into the boss fight, so the Giga Spawn's kind of obsolete. But another Rex would be nice. Rex Theory, Megatherium. I'll take any of these things. We're gonna loop the map, chat. We're gonna loop the map. By the time we loop the map and get back, the Bazzy should be grown up. Morning, Bing! Oh, Bing! We were just saying. We've, um... The, uh, because the sub count is up, we're adding back some bonus streams again, which means there'll be nighttime streams. If you and Pocket want to come and join us in some streams again, it'll be a bit easier for your time zone. <laughs> so this week, this coming week, it's going to be Monday and Tuesday night, my time. We're doing bonus streams. And then Thursday morning before I head to TwitchCon. But that probably won't work for you, because again, it's a morning stream. Packy Saddle and Gilly Pants. Okay. Just learned this morning that there's a haunted museum in Vegas. Yes, we should go. I know you said you wanted to spend all day in the pool on Sunday, Scooby, but we could go and do like a couple of hours of stuff in the morning. Go check out the haunted museum or the wax museum or like stuff like that. Circus Circus is a lot of fun. They have like a little theme park inside Circus Circus. And then you do the afternoon in the pool. And it's nice and warm. Did you grind the saddles? Yes, Mikey, I did. It worked. You're a genius. But then I did it with a couple of... I did it with um, a couple of other saddles and it didn't work. So it only seems to work on a couple of them. I've been to the Pinball Hall of Fame beard. Dana and I went to it uh, one time we were in Vegas. Although <laughs> we stupidly didn't... Well, I stupidly... Um, we didn't get a taxi there. We thought we could walk. Never look at a map of Vegas and think you can walk anywhere, chat. It is, it is misleading. Blocks in Vegas are freaking huge. So we ended up walking a, a lot. She hated me by the end of it. We ended up walking a long way to get to the Pinball Hall of Fame. It was fun. <laughs> this was a few years ago now. Did you grind them? Uh, I did grind mine too for the upper saddles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ground uh, Quet Saddle. <clears throat> and it got me the alpha saddles and then I ground it and I got the, the saddles but then I ground up um, Diplo saddles and I got nothing well I'm owning that Dana I know that was my choice it was my fault and I know it drove you absolutely insane <laughs> Vegas food has everything on the planet yeah Apparently, I've been told, I, I know it's, it's simple, it's not diverse like you're saying there, but apparently, um, uh, what's that place with the good sh uh, Shake Shack? Shake Shack is apparently the place to go for a burger and a milkshake. Apparently, it's amazing. Has anyone been to Shake Shack? All right, so there's an army of. Look at that! Look at them! I I, I, I doubt Vic is still here, um, but if anyone from Vic's community is still here after that raid, I was telling Vic about how the dinos hunt in packs. Like, look at that! That's a pack of Pachyrhinosauruses and um, and trikes, and they're guarding three nests. And if you wanted those eggs, you would have to deal with that pack of dinos right there. <laughs> Want to go to Black Tap for Crazy Shake? Oh yeah. What's I don't I haven't been to Black Tap. I don't know it. I'm just gonna eat this whole dip, Dana. This is my lunch and breakfast today.
I've only heard the herd legend nine dollar. Okay. So no one's been to Shake Shack. Fifty dollar burgers. I don't pay fifty bucks for food. That's crazy. You can get so much good food. You just go punch one and lead them away. Yeah, 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 totally. That's how it works. The funny th the, the funny thing is, Mikey, is that doesn't even work because the um the the nest guardians won't won't leave the nest area. They stay pretty close because I had that issue with the Ankies. Were you here the first time I tried to get the Anki? Remember the Anki on the other side of the um, highlands here and a Rex came up on us? I tried to lead the Ankies away so I could go steal the eggs and they kept, they would stop X distance away from their nest and they wouldn't go any further. Are you heading off, Acre? Take it easy, buddy. Fancy Kai, Jason dip for breakfast. It's just seven, it's just seven layer dip, mate. Don't want to deal with a herd of angry mamas? Yeah, beard. Mate, it's it's so interesting, the mechanics. Like, the, the dino AI is very clever as well. Like, I fought a Rex... Not, not this exact cliff, but I fought a Rex on a similar cliff to this beard in the Highlands, and it was down there, and I shot it, and it, instead of just running straight at the cliff like they normally do, it actually went around, found the way up, and came up on me. So they've really improved the Dino AI in this mod. It's very, very impressive. My kitten doesn't take up three quarters of my bed. <laughs> yep. So sore because of it. You know you can move them right, Bing. They are smaller than you. <laughs> it's going to tick off an army of Iguanodons. Look how many freaking Iguanodons there are! Look at them all! I love that. They all just hissed and ran. Everybody run! That is so many iguanodons. Look at all the babies. The babies and the nests. Oh no, sorry, not iguanodons. These are gallimimuses. <laughs> now that's an army. Cat law states you cannot move a sleeping kitty. Ah, damn it. <laughs> well, you're on your own then, Bing. Who am I to argue with cat law? We're looking for, like, boss dinos, not giant packs of galleys. It's illegal to wake a sleeping kitty. That's good. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I mean, Scooby said the same thing, but in a, in, in a way less aggressive way. <laughs> it's what you go to hell for. <laughs> I feel like maybe we need to kill some herbivores to attract the carnivores in there's another pack of trikes down there yeah maybe to get rexes and stuff to spawn we have to kill enough herbivores i wonder if that's a is that a hunted mechanic does anyone know because that's kind of interesting I've got the wrong RG to be killing anything right now. We do have a gun and a bow and stuff. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 trikes slash Styracosauruses. Yeah, no you don't, buddy. No you don't. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? He's dead and he still got me. Give me my arrows back. Give me my arrows back, you jerk face. Styrofoamosaurus, there you go. Give me my arrows back. Those arrows are expensive. There we go. All right, let's see if some dead corpses attract some uh, carnivores.
Hey, buddy. Okay. We got that guy. I think they overspawn the reason why some diners do not spawn in again. Yeah. It seems that way because these are big packs of herbivores. Oh well, let's continue our journey. Let's see if we can find Megas or Theries up here in the uh in the Redwoods, I guess. Or a murder kitty. I'd love a murder kitty. We haven't found a kitten. We've, we've seen big murder kitties, but no kittens. So what you up to today, Scoobs? I put a link to my playlist in the um, Discord ages ago, mildly. I think it's it's pinned in the ARC channel, I think. Jen? Oh, no, Jen left. I was going to ask if she remembers what channel we pinned that in. Need to do some laundry and start packing? Yeah. I will literally pack the day of. That's that's how I will do that. <laughs> it should be pinned either in the general channel or the ARC channel, I think. But it's all copyright free, on Twitch at least. Copyright free music. Um, it's all got a good vibe to it. Or at least I think so. A bear would be nice too if we could find a baby bear. We have not found a baby bear. Just adults. Anyway, long story short, mildly, it should be in the Discord somewhere, mate. You gotta run, Fred? Take it easy, mate. Okay, Megatherium, Theri, Baby Murder Kitty. There's a baby Doed. Hello? Is there any baby kittens around here? I mean, we should have enough kibble to get something. Mm. Okay. Let's get some stamina back. Bum, bum, ba -da. Bum, bum. Be safe. Are you talking to Fred or are you talking to me flying through the redwoods? <laughs> Alright, beaver dams galore. Tons of galleys again. I think you might be right this time, Moon. Not that you aren't right a lot of the times. Oh no, it was Chi Chi. I think we're getting an overspawn of some of the herbivores, which is making the carnivores a lot harder to find. You are still right, Moon. As you often are, my friend. Usually more right than I am. <laughs> okay, there's an Amaga, there's a bear. Neither of you have children. Are there ever otters in these rivers in the Redwoods? Is this an otter spawn spot? Also, your message isn't pinned, but you found it anyway. Good job, Boone. Alright, Dryad can pin it then. It should have been pinned. I thought it was pinned. But yeah, the ARC playlist is in the Discord. I know it's there somewhere.
Do, 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 do. I should have bought my billboards with me and then we could have run around. I don't like being on the ground without my old billboard traps. Who just growled at me? Bunch of terror birds. Okay, a cano. Not seeing anything out here. Okay. Hmm. We're back to the point of searching for random dinos. I can't believe we managed to get all artifacts in two days. That went that went a lot smoother than I was expecting. That was exciting. I mean, the rock golem was a little bit of a gong show. <laughs> but other than that, it went all right. You don't have an option to pin? In the Discord. As a Discord mod. Yeah, that's super weird. Okay. I will look into that. It's probably something that I've said. Well, it's 100% it's something I would have set up wrong. <laughs> Probably haven't ticked a box somewhere. I'll look into it for you. All right, tons of blinking terror birds. No one wants a terror bird. Hey, just after we ground up those Diplo saddles, there's a baby Diplo. And a Pariser. There's a baby Diplo chat. Look at the baby Diplo. Ah, no problem, Jen. I thought you had gone off for a rest, so we were trying to figure it out without you. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can pin on the phone. That's a good point. But I think it's a phone thing. Okay, there's another Amaga. Oh, we do have an Amaga, don't we? Maybe maybe that's one of the random dinos we'll take into the boss fight. Can I take an Amagasaurus into a boss fight? Do, do, do. Hey, 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 I'm trying to eat chips here. Do you mind? I'm trying to eat my chips. Mm hmm. Alright. No need to apologize, Dryad. That's very Canadian of you to apologize for absolutely no reason, my friend. You'd fit in well up here. <laughs> Alright, we figured out what it was. It was either going to be something I set up wrong or some something else, but now we know it's just a phone thing. What are the odds you're a juvenile female Megatherium? You are a female Megatherium, but you're not a juvenile. Which doesn't really help me. Hmm. Not having much luck finding any useful dinos. Oh! What about this pond up here in the Redwoods? You know the big pond in the Redwoods? Does that have otters in it, chat? All right, let's go check that out, Mikey. One of these damn waterways is going to have some otters for us. <laughs> let's 
Still not seeing any kitty cats. Yeah. I feel like for a more realistic experience, this is the way to do it. But if you actually want to see nests and babies, awesome spyglass helps a ton. Like, the babies are so small sometimes, the outline is really a game changer. Ah, crud. Ah, crud. Are we going to land on the edge? Oh, good save, buddy. Okay. Well, let's move somewhere a little safer. Hopefully. Right there. Stay there. Go on to neutral if someone messes with you while I'm in the water. Alright. Bunch of fish. Bunch of fish. I mean, I feel like this would be the ideal home for an otter. Oh, oh, is that an otter over there? No, that's an Archeo. And there's a Gallimimus. There's a bunch of baby galleys. Ah. You gotta have the outline, Luna. Uh, I've trained myself to be able to play with them without it. Often... Ah, it's bloody terror birds in the water! Terror birds in the water! Kill them, chat! We're gonna kill them, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, even when I use the awesome spyglass for some of my playthroughs, I often turn off the um, outline. Yeah, take that, you stupid terror birds! Nobody comes in Manticai. Give me my arrows back. Give me my arrows back. I love that I get my arrows back. Especially the metal ones. They're bloody expensive. We're almost done, chat. I've, I've literally sat here for the last hour and eaten this dip. <laughs> oh, it's so good, Steel. Seven layer dip, mate. Ah, find something wrong with it. I challenge you. How you doing today, Steel? Ah, crap. The Morphodons. I saw uh, Bree trying to tame up a, a Reaper last night, mate. Trying to get a first pregnancy. I thought if you took any damage once you were pregnant, you died. I didn't realize it was only radiation. So I learned something new yesterday. You did manage to get it? Nice. You haven't gotten any text up, Luna. Really? You've never unlocked any of the text up? Have you not fought bosses? Although, to be fair, like, a lot of people like Silver, who's in my community here, he'd never bothered doing caves or bosses until I came along. And he has thousands of hours. He just likes to build and chill. I forced everyone to do caves and bosses with me. Well, I'm glad you managed to get it, Steve. You're a little late today, mate. I um, we did both sides of uh of the labyrinth, and we successfully finished and got all four artifacts. So now we're only missing one artifact, which is the uh, Tuso Trench one. So I'm growing up some bazzies right now to go into the Tuso Trench. And while we wait for the bazzies to grow, we're looking for some boss dinos. I'm I'm looking for a male Therry so I can breed my Therries. A female Megatherium, so I could breed my Megatherium. Or a male Rex, so I could breed my Rex. Any of those things would work, and I can't find any of them. So the first half? Nice. It went, it went pretty good today. 
the, 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 the labyrinth can be very hit and miss, so it's nice when it works the way it's supposed to. You haven't even done a boss fight, Luna. Ah, you could do it easy. Beating a beating a gamma level boss is is super super easy. I've I've done it with so someone like we we did a challenge called the Baylor challenge um, a few months ago now where I had to roll for what dinos I was allowed to use and we could only tame those dinos and so we went in and fought the boss with like four theories, a frog, uh, a crocodile, like a bunch of nonsense. None of it really leveled up, none of it with advanced saddles, and we still beat the boss. So, gamma bosses are pretty easily doable. They do jump up quite significantly from gamma to beta, and beta to alpha is huge. All right, chat, there's my achievement of the day. I ate a whole seven layer dip. <laughs> Kick it off. Successful Sunday, right there. So you're going to start streaming on weekdays again? Yeah, Dudsy. So I said, I said, um, uh, Nightbot is um, kind of putting it out there, but essentially, like I love streaming, but it was obviously it was tough to balance streaming and full time work and stuff. So the trade off was that. If the community enjoys my crazy content enough to support the stream, then I will do more streams. So for every 100 subs that we have, uh, we do a bonus stream every week. And at the moment, thanks to everyone, and it been in a big, big part, thanks to Raz and, and Safa for being insane, uh, we're at 350 subs, which means we are doing three bonus streams throughout the week as long as we have the subs. So, yeah. Yeah, it's all mine, Steve. You don't get none. <laughs> nah, no, I can't do that. I'm, I'm, I get it from my dad. I don't, I don't know. Is it weird? Okay. Let's see if anyone else feels this way. I, I am bad with touching weird, like, like sticky or gross foods. Like I like wings, but I hate eating sticky wings because my fingers get sticky. Like making meatloaf. I can make a killer meatloaf, but having to mix it in the bowl. Like I, I hate having gross things on my hands. Am I weird, or is that? Or do other people share that? <laughs> like, with a with a burrito or a taco, if it starts going everywhere, ah, terrible, all over, all over, can't do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dudzy. So it'll be night time because I still do my work, right? So it'll be night times, like seven to ten, seven to eleven in the evenings for the most part, and then depending on the week and my work schedule, it might change week on week. But this, this coming week is going to be Monday, Tuesday night, and then Thursday morning before I fly out to TwitchCon. Fair enough, Jen. Fair enough. Would it help if I read out 100 jokes from the dad joke book? Would that, would that help your mindset? Because I can do it. I will, I will pause the game, zoom in, and read 100 jokes out of the book in a row. <laughs> Just know that I would do that for you, Jen. All right, chat. Keep your eye out. If you see a Meg or a Theory or something useful in this blinking game, you tell me. Mixing the meat in a bowl, not in the slightest. See, I just, I don't know. It's, it's not. I, I won't, I won't not do it. I'll still do it, but it just kind of grosses me out a little bit, Chi Chi. I had lots of fun before the bosses. Exactly. Hey, there's nothing to say you can't have fun without ever doing a cave or a boss. But I do recommend giving it a try. It's fun. It's a different style. It'll unlock some stuff you can play with. And as I said, it's not hard. Like, I think a lot of people hold off on the bosses because they think that it's hard. Really not. Ooh, what about this pond over here? There's a pond over here. Does this have any otters in it? Or anything useful? Oh, 
All right, anyone dangerous around here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a pack of something up there. I, 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 I think Ark's trying to tell us something, chat. I think Ark and Jen got together and decided no more, no more otters, apparently. I mean, I was just going to ignore you guys when you said no more otters, but I, I can't really ignore Ark. If it won't give me an otter, kind of screwed. I can actually make evening streams. Hey, excellent duds. Well, it'll be great to have you back in a little more often. To me, once the boss is done, the whole point of even playing. See, that's... Uh, I actually completely understand that mindset, Silver. I really do. Because I, I'm like that all the time. Like, I will grind and grind and grind and grind and grind. But as soon as I finish the story of a game, I lose interest. It was like that with um, Grounded, when I played Grounded with Dana. We ground, we fought bugs, we built, we had fun. But as soon as we finished the story, I was like, cool, game's done, on to the next one. So I do get that. But for me with Ark, as you know, once I beat the boss, I just find a new stupid way to try and beat the boss again. Or go to a different map and do it there. So, I oh don't know, that's, how, that's just me. All the honors are gathered by the obelisk, just porting out. It feels like it. I feel like the game is against us right now. And I am cooking. We are cooking. All right, those guys are there. There's a couple of Quetzes flying away. I'm curious, are you guys Egg Guardians? A 135. And what are you? You're a two... Oh, there's got to be a Quetz Nest. Oh, in fact, it's right there, chat. I see the, I see the Nest Guardian. Oh, I don't have my... um. Ooh, I don't have my Rex with me. I don't have my Rex with me, and the Argy's not that strong, but I want to steal that egg. I really want to steal that egg. Okay, can't land that close to him. Got it. Can we land up here? Yeah, we can. All right. I want to steal this guy's egg, chat. About 700 hours in arc. Solid. Good effort. Actually, you know what? Before we do this, you stay. Do not fly away on me, you blinking... Oh. All right. Oh, it's just going to fly away from its nest. All right, then. Well, if you just want to leave it, I definitely thought that thing would attack me. Oh, there we go. Ah, take that, you stupid Quetzal! Did you see how much damage that bow did to the face shot chat? 6k! 6k for a big ass bow. All right. He's too far away. Uh, 100% right. I'm working, getting better. Just 30. You got it, Dudzy. All right. He's got nothing on him that's worth stealing. Peace of mind is priceless. 100%. I was kidding about having thousands of hours. I only have about 4k hours. Hey, it's almost double what I've got in, Silver. Okay, how are you doing for meat? Let's get a bit more meat off this corpse. This guy has a lot of health. We're not gonna. Oh, we're not gonna win this fight with an RG chat. 
I'm not going to win this fight with an RG. We need to... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, you better run! <laughs> All right. About to hit uh, 1,500 hours, Dudzy. Did you play uh, Did you play much before, like, we found each other, Dudzy? Or were you pretty new to Ark when, when you first joined the community? Oh, there's a Yudi over there. All right, the eggs, the, the nest is doing the nest thing where it doesn't want to trigger. There's, there's literally a, a thing in there. There's a dead body in there. Okay, we got heat stroke. What are the chances you got a baby kicking around here somewhere, buddy? Hey, got a baby for me? Why is it all of a sudden so darn hot? There we go. All right. All right, so we stole a quetz egg. Huzzah. Keep that. So at 300, so that was Omega. Nice. Omega was fun. I mean, we still have the Omega servers up. I haven't spoken to Kralin in a little while, but they are still running. Oh, there's some baby Spinos. There's some baby Spinos, chat. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're going to get the little water buff, aren't you? Whoa! Whoa! He just went straight up the side of the freaking cliff! <laughs> Okay. Okay. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Alright, we're not having much luck on Theory's Megs. We'll go past this swamp, I guess, and see if we can get Sarko or Barry Eggs. Yeah, I know, right? I was just having a look. I was just having a look. I wasn't going to kidnap any children this time. All right, it's getting on to 130, chat. We need to start circling back to home. See how big these bazzies have gotten and if they're going to be strong enough to take down into the uh, into the depths. So the last theory that I actually found, the two theories that we have came from a nest in Spino Canyon. So I guess Swamp, Spino Canyon, home. It's a bit of a roundabout trip, but it's the last couple of places I can think where we might get dinos. Because at the moment, we're just not finding dinos. That says 420. <laughs> well, hey, if it's, four, it's 420 somewhere in the world, mate. Where's Chronic? Doo -doo. Got to do all those adult things. As much as I am confident I could sit here and stream all day chat. Got to do those adult things. Go shopping, do some tidying. Pocket says hi. Hey Pocket! Well, as I said, Bing, if you and Pocket want to come and hang out in some more streams once we're back on the nighttime stuff, plus um, obviously ASA is due out at the end of the month, so it's good timing for some extra streams.
so. You would be happy with your background? I'll we'll give you a big hug, but probably wouldn't pass it along. I'll take a big hug, Silver. Don't offer me a big hug. I just wanted a hug. Oh, do you have a cub? I swear to God, bear cubs are not a thing. Bear cubs and thyla kitties. We haven't found any of them. Unless they are so darn small. Because some of these babies are so darn small. That it is insanely difficult to see them. Like, look at those tiny little terror birds. Those tiny little terror birds. There's your hug. Yes! 9,751 dragons! That is a spine-tingling hug if I've ever had one. Alright, swamps. Into Spino Canyon. Around to home. Check out the Bazzies. See what level they're up to. Found all my kitties on Southwest Islands. And yes, they are small. Oh, okay. So down in... Uh, down in that time. Oh, I've been down there. I've been down there a couple of times. Okay, so I'm going to have to go take another look. We just went past. Should we go back? Nah, we'll have to do that next time. It's getting late. It's getting late. We just said we've got stuff to do, chat. Swamps, Spino Canyon, home. I'll have to check out the Southwest Islands again next time. Mostly farming shrooms. 420 shrooms. Trying to tell us something here, Silver. Man, these packs of dinos in the swamps are terrifying. You get bitten by, what's that, 12 dinonuchuses? You're going down real hard. You off to bed? Good night, Moon. Take it easy. I wouldn't mind a bit a little frog if we could ever find one. What are you? There's just a croc hanging out there. We can't get the level on it. I think it's glitched, okay? Alright. Is there a barry nest or a baby frog or something interesting we can tame? It's funny the different dinos everyone finds. Like, I've seen so many other people in Hunted Rock and Barrys, and I have not found one Barry in Nest. Come on down and... There's an Arbok! Arbok! In the chat. Oh, there's some Spinos, and a Spino Nest. Okay, there's the Spino Nest. We don't need that. We have a breeding pair of Spinos. There's literally no point in aggravating them right now. There's no benefit to us of aggravating those spinos. Give me a little baby frog. Where's the little baby frog? Oh, I guess technically a baby frog would be a tadpole, right? You reckon there's tadpoles in the water? There's a barrier over there. Get some stamina back while we're in a fairly safe spot. Do, do, do. Not a single barry nest. Yeah. Mate. I think it's maps as well. Like, if, if I was to play this again... Actually, I'm, yeah, if I was to play this again, I'd probably do it on the island. Because I think that's the map it's best designed for. No barry, no capro... We found that one Sarko nest, which was totally random too, because there wasn't even a Sarko on it when I found it. The heck is that? The heck is that? Yeah, I know what that is. What is that? Oh, it's a Barry chewing on a tree. Oh, a Barry fighting a Titan Boa around a tree. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what the heck is that? Parasarethiums. I 
Barry. That might be its nest. No trees there normally. Yeah, it did look out of place, didn't it? Should we go check it out? I mean, I'm on the rock. I wish I'd bought my Rex. We should never leave home without the Rex. Oh, I see something small over there. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a Dimetrodon. Okay, there's a Dimetrodon running away over there. That does look like a nest of something, doesn't it? Oh, it is! It's a nest of something. There's a snake down there. Ah! If a snake spits and knocks us out, we're screwed. Are you a little frog or a big frog? You're a big frog. Really wish I had a better dino right now. Um, like that army of dinonuchus over there could come over and ruin our day very fast. We could get out the megatherium, but the capro here will knock us off a megatherium. Look at that capro just staring down that nest. What are you, buddy? Okay, there's a Barry right here. I recommend the Volcano mod map. It's very well made. Probably one of my favorites. Okay. Alright, that Barry's almost dead. Let's finish it off so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, Barry's dead. Okay, one less thing to worry about. Now we've got to deal with this Capra over here. This Parasaur is going to try to attack me because there's a baby around, isn't it? At the moment it's not. Okay. Can't hit. Am I just not hitting this Capro or is it glitched? Oh my god. Beginning to think I could not hit that freaking Capro. Alright, that just cost us some arrows. High 90s completed. Okay. Okay, we can't land over there because it's too close to a nest. It's a barrier over there. There's some... Oh, those Dinonuchuses have come closer. Those Dinonuchuses have come closer, chat. I want to get this nest, but everything is aggressive here. Yeah, look at them all. Holy mother of God. They're attacking that nest. They're attacking that nest. No, leave it alone. That's my nest. I think it's a spider nest. Just because of the uh, snake nest. Because of the noise. Okay, Spino's over there murdering the dinos now. Ooh, nice. This might be our chance. This might be our chance, chat. Oh, no, they're still very... Okay, we're not. We're going to have to wait for that Spino to do some damage to him. Mod usually utilizes every space in mountains well. Rag is nice for lots of wasted space. It, yeah. There's a lot of un... I wouldn't call it wasted. I'd say unutilized space. But yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Is this a nest too, then? I think that might be a nest as well. 
I think nests just look weird for some creatures. So we're not we're not picking up that it's a nest chat. Bloody piranha in the water. Very worried about walking in the water here. Okay, stay. Stay. We think it's a snake nest, chat. Fertilized Titan Bow Egg. Heck yeah. I don't know why that matters, but we got one. All right, now we're going to try this nest here. This is definitely a nest as well. I feel like this might be a Capro nest. Uh-oh. Oh, I couldn't see it coming. Give me my arrows. Give me my arrows back. Is it not a nest or is this just one of these glitchy things where the nest doesn't show up for me? Oh, th there it is. Capro nest. So Capro, so a snake nest looks like a little tree. Capro nest looks like a... Uh, a rock and some reeds. That's interesting. So maybe I've just missed a bunch of the nests. Alright, what do you think a barry nest is going to look like then, chat? What's a barry nest? Okay, look for something out of the usual. There's another snake nest right there. I mean, we're right here. We should probably take it. Come on, load the nest for me. Takes a minute to trigger the nest. It's definitely a nest. Come on. Ah, crap! Oh, Jesus, that scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, uh, there was a capro there, chat. There's a capro there. Yeah, all right. That nest is not working. I'm out of here. <laughs> that just scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that was a little loud. <clears throat> Surprise hug. Yup. Yup. Very much. And I don't even have half my armor on. We don't even have most of my armor on because we we're overheating. That could have gone so bad. Oh my god. Alright. That almost went sideways. <clears throat> oh, here's where we were running away from the Capra, the, the Dino Nutrices that time, and we just like throwing billboards down to slow them down. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to look for now. That's so interesting. Those nests look nothing like nests. Oh, there's a nest of something. Oh, droppy, troppy, troppy. Yeah, they'll chase down my bird and kill it. We don't need another troppy nest. I did lose one Pidgeot that way. Pidgeot the first died to an angry troppy who chased me down. And they don't give up, and they are very fast. It chased me like halfway across the map and I just could not shake it no matter what I did. Okay, well we got a couple of new eggs. Not what we thought we were coming for, but maybe we'll take a snake and a uh, and a Capro into the boss fight. Who knows? 
Did they kill Silver? No, no. We've still got Silver. Don't worry, Shadow. Don't worry. No, the irony is if I was flying Silver, I would have been fine. So Silver was built with health and attack. Silver is Silver was my attack RG. So Silver was strong. Pidgeot is a speed RG. So Pidgeot has low health, but high speed and carry weight. And lots of stamina. So Pidgeot's good at getting around, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't last long in a fight. Okay, there's lots of freaking troppies everywhere. Bloody hell. Thank God he's glorious. There you go, Silver. <laughs> I don't go down that easy. I'm gonna walk away from that sentence. Just walk away from that sentence. <laughs> I feel like we should maybe remove the billboards here and it might allow eggs to spawn in. I don't even know anymore. All right, we were going to go into um, Spino Canyon and look for a theory. Let's do that. The only place I found a baby theory... Actually, no, we found baby theories two places. Over here and to our left. And they've all been female. And next time we leave home, make sure we take Lady Rex a lot, chat. It's always good to have her in case we need to go for a wander somewhere. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. Okay. So we get back home, we got some new eggs. Still didn't find an otter on the entire map. I think that says something. I think that says a lot, chat. <laughs> Oh, this means I'm going to continuously overheat from now on, doesn't it? A UD would be nice. Anyone got a... Any You're a 135. I mean, we've got a pig. A UD would help with a boss fight. Oh, there's a Sonoma Crops. So, Tame and that would have been super useful before we went into the, uh, the Labyrinth. Okay, so Sonomas are in this canyon. I've just seen three of them. If you're looking for a Sonoma Crops in the Hunted on Ragnarok, all of those things, it's right here in the canyon. Yeah, so the Hunted brings other dinos into the mod, uh, Silver. There's Sonomas... Dinopithecus are kicking around the map. I found one of them. Um, what else is normally not on Ragnarok? Oh, the um, Amargosaurus is on the map. It's not normally on Ragnarok. So the Hunted does bring in a couple of outside dinos. I wouldn't mind getting a Dinopithecus. They'd be a good boss dino. They're so strong. Yeah, Shadow, we did both sides of the Labyrinth. Got all four artifacts. Slate it. Having a good run today. Well, we had a good run in terms of getting artifacts. I mean, we also got the Bazzy, which was helpful. We're just not finding much in the way of boss dinos. We need Megs, Theries, Rexes even. Something we can take into the boss fight. Too bad you can't take in a Bronto. Just put a saddle on it with a ton of guns. I, th I think that that's a clever way to do it. But apparently Ark doesn't want you doing that. Alright, there's more berries in here. How have we not found a berry nest? There's berries everywhere. Alright, let's see if the Therys have spawned back where I found them before. What are the odds? Very slim. Slim to none, it would look like.
Alright, no luck on the theories chat. Okay, so. I think we're going to go just over the uh, 100 days. Not that this was originally a 100 day challenge, but I'm actually surprised how far we've come in the hunted. This was just a time filler until ASA came out, but it's turned into be an awesome game. When I went to do the boss, I was a boss. We toed to toed it. <laughs> you did what I did against the... Uh, Ice Worm Queen just went in with a sword and some armor and went... <gasps> okay. I mean, I'm sure I'm missing some by flying instead of wandering around on the ground, but... Yeah. I think we did that once. Not fully that, but like, there's someone challenged me to punch a boss to death. So we, we did most of the damage with guns or dinos or something, but then like the last last little bit of health, we just like punched the boss to death. <laughs> just because we could, why not? Terror birds. All right. Well, that's disappointing, chat. We've spent the last, like, hour and a half circling the map. Didn't find an otter, a fairy, a meg, a bear, a kitty. We got nothing! We did get a capro egg and a snake egg. So that's what we got. Oh. Oh, I'm in an RG zone. Oh, yeah, over there I see it. Essentially playing Ark. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, steve Pretty much, mate. What are you doing for the weekday streams? Uh, good question. So I'm thinking Thursday. So as I said, we're going to do Monday, Tuesday night. Thursday, daytime before I fly to TwitchCon. Thursday, I think, uh, I think I'm going to play a few hours of Enshrouded, Silver. I think we're going to give that a go. Because the when I've seen uh, James and Zeb and some others play it, it looks really good. So I want to give it a try. So I think I'm going to do that on Thursday. Uh, Monday, Tuesday night, I don't know. I know I owe, I owe a uh, Choo Choo Charles uh, horror stream. So that might happen. We could do, I mean, it is October. We could do some more horror streams or if we have another suggestion. I don't know, I haven't really come up with a plan. It won't be the hunted. I can tell you that. It won't be the hunted because, oh, well, it, mi it might be. It might be the hunted, but I won't do anything interesting. Like I'm not going to do the boss outside of the weekend streams. Any caves and bosses, like we might do some harvesting, resourcing, maybe just a chill stream. But I'll, I'll make sure that anything we do that's pertinent to our progression, so artifacts and bosses and stuff, happens on the weekend stream so that people who have been watching the whole time can finish it off. Because there's a big difference between early morning weekends and late night weekdays for a bunch of our viewers. Community games? Maybe. The tough part about community games being is getting enough people to commit to actually turn up. Like, we, we've we've had community games... We, we did a couple of, um... Of, like, bit, uh, of, of channel point goals for community games, and, and they always won. Like, we, we, we got the amount of channel points, but then no one turned up to community games. And it's very hard to play community games with only three people. So if we're ever going to do community games again, we kind of need, like, a bunch of people to commit to coming to play. Cool, that makes two of us bing. <laughs> oh, and we got a quetz egg. That's right, we got a quetz egg too. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with a quetz, but we got one. Oh, 100% Preston. It's it's no, it's, I'm not calling anyone out or judge. I'm just saying like... Statement of fact, if we're going to play a community game that requires 10 people and 3 people are there, it's like you can't play the game. But yeah, I, like, life, family, all this stuff work. Uh, I mean, people have got to do this stuff, I get it. Just makes it a little harder to organize those things. Play party animals? 
It seemed, yeah, I've seen a few people playing that recently. Um, TK was talking about doing a group session of that, so I don't know. Maybe if TK's keen on it Monday, Tuesday night, and we'll get get that crew in it, get the shark, uh, re the, uh, the reef crew in as well. That could work out. Okay. Oh, yeah, Luna, I was never going to use a Quetzal. Who uses Quetzals? Ugh. All right, our Bazzies have grown up. Let's make a couple of Bazzies. All right, it's really dark. When did it get so dark? Yeah, so I got uh, 15 Extraordinary Saddles, Mikey, when I ground up the Quetz platform. But as I said, when I ground up the Diplo saddle, I got nothing. So I, I don't know. It's, it seems to work with some saddles and not others. Quetzals have feelings. <laughs> Quetzals are big and slow. Maybe when there's no cryopods, we'll start to use them again. Alright, you guys have only got three levels? Oh my god. Alright. Level up, people. Level up. We're going to take you in the Tuso Trench. You need some levels. Oh, Marges, we're going to buy party animals too. Yeah, party animals looks like it could be some fun. Okay, this is the first windstorm I've had. I'm loving this. Look at that. Look at that, chat. Them shiny, shiny artifacts. Okay. I guess now we can hatch up some eggs. So what have we got here? Gargantuan, colossal, large. Alright, so the capro egg can go in there. And then... I mean, okay. And then we'll throw you in that one. And, ah, oh, crap, one of our nests. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. All right. Everyone gets their own nest. At least we kept the mushrooms. So these living nests just decay over time, hey? Because we always seem to come back and find them half decayed. They pick up mammoths, but they're so slow, Stevel. All right. Drinking meat in the halls of White Run. All right. Let's get our babies out here. What do we got? A capra, a quetz, and something else. So we're going to need some raw meat. More meat. We have classic flies. Put points in speed. True, but even then, this you got you got to admit they're still pretty slow. Capro. Why am I... I'm uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. I'm stuck on the nest. Stuck on the nest! There we go. <laughs> Alright, what have we got in here? This was our snake. Okay, we'll take you out. And then... Nine minutes on that. Oh, my God. Okay, the Quetz has a huge incubation time. Alright, so we got a Capro. Little baby Capro. Oh my god, look at the size of it. Holy heck. Like, you guys can't see anything right now, can you? Where's my... Okay, do we have my torch on me? Where's the torch? There it is. There it is. Look at how little it is. That's the smallest Capro ever. Choo Choo Child Spider Show the Creepy Face kind of reminds me of uh, it from Steam again. A little bit. One of our guys, that's his primary flyer. Wow, that's 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 some effort. Alright, and a tiny little snake. Alright, let's give these guys some food while we're, uh, uh, like, looking at them. Well, 
Oh, look at the little snake and and and, and Capro. Look at him. He's just a little snake. Call it Snappy. Oh, they'll grow fast. My my um baby growth speed is is pretty high. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, he's getting bigger. He's getting bigger. Uh, if you put points in speed, you can get a quench to fly as fast or faster than the base speed of an RG. All right, Blackheart. All right. Well, I mean, that's all obsolete now, though, because you are... Well, I mean, it's not... People, you could still play regular old arc, but when ASA comes out, you won't be able to put points in dino speed anymore. Okay, my snake is growing into the ground. My snake is growing into the ground, chat. It feels like a problem. <laughs> it feels like a problem. Hey, buddy, get out of the ground. Hey, buddy, get out of the ground. <laughs> uh, I have to wait till mods are adjusted. Welcome in, Blackheart. How you doing, mate? Okay, so we got our Capra. We got a Titan Boa. The Quetz is over here. Six and a half minutes on the Quetz. We've got the Bazzies growing up, so we can go do um, the Tuso Canyon artifact. And that's the last artifact we need. Oh, holy mother of God. Wait a second. Oh, okay. Wow. Those Bazzies ate a lot of fish. Okay. Yeah, those Bazzies ate us out of fish, chat. <coughs> Excuse me. We need to go harvest some fish while we wait for everything to happen. All right. I did even have a backup one over here. Oh, we're complete. Okay, meat and fish. We should probably do some of that. Um... As per my message to myself, let's grab Lady Rex a lot. Uh, put food back in Snake. Nah, it's a juvenile now, Mad Monkey. As soon as it hits a juvenile, it'll leap from the trough. So one thing I do because I play single player and because I, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not in this for the long term, I'm just playing a challenge, which is to beat a boss, is I do boost my, my breeding rates. The trough's not fully empty, but it's getting there. It's still got some meat. Okay. Still got some meat. So let's go get some, um... Let's go get some fish and some meat real quick. Yeah, I do... I, I think, like, it's about five times. If you were to really... If you were to do the math, I think it's about five times. My eggs, my baby speed, like, it's, it's pretty quick. Stay, uh, it's getting late. Not a problem, Chi Chi. Take it easy. I know the night streams will probably be impossible for you, but uh, if you're around Thursday morning, I'll be on. As I said, I won't do anything with the hunted in terms of bosses and stuff uh, outside of our regular schedule. So that people like you and the others who have been watching this adventure can finish the adventure with us. Really? Now that we actually want a shark or, it, like, literally anything. I just need a diner. Are you kidding me right now? I didn't bring a scuba suit. I can't go super deep. Where's all the blinking dinos at? I know, right? I just wanted to come kill a couple of sharks real quick. Get some food for our dinos. There's a shark. There's a shark and we're about to drown.
All right, one shark will probably give us enough fish for now. Yeah, yeah, one shark will give us enough fish, and then we'll take out the Rex and go find a Bronto or something to kill, and that'll give us enough meat. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be good on fish for a little while. Do, do, do. One good thing about the hunted, yes, getting like the di your dinos do eat a lot more, so it kind of goes hand in hand. But yeah, it is you can get a lot of food for your dinos pretty quick. How are you? You cut. You've literally got an inventory full of food. You muppet. I'm hungry. Give me some food. You've got like just thousands of fish on you. Eat the fish. All right, you wait there. I'm gonna put the fish in the trough. Three thousand fish. That should hold them up for a little while. And now we need. Uh, let's go take Lady Rex a lot out for a run. Prime gives you more when you pump it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the little tweaky thing, uh, things like that, like which food to use, using prime over regular. I haven't paid a lot of attention to that. All right, Lady Rexalot, let's go find someone big we can pick a fight with. You watch, there's going to be no blinking dinos out this way either. There's normally some Brontos up on the edge over here. And given that I didn't bring any food on her, we need to find something fairly quickly. <laughs> Found it! There's a Bronto up on the edge, chat. Ah, there's a second one. Alright, beautiful, that's what we needed. You will give me meat. Whether you want to or not. I mean prime fish, just fill the dino up before you dump the rest. Oh yeah, good point. Oh, this is a this is a nest guardian as well. Oh yeah, it is literally standing on a nest. So you're at 240. Okay, and I'm already capped out. Okay, those are both dead. Now we can get rid of the prime. Good job, Lady Rex a lot. Oh, we're full again. Prime. God, I hate single stack prime. till ASA. I'm hoping they fix that silver. I think that's a stupid mechanic. Like make regular stacks 100 and make prime like 10. 
Like, it doesn't have to be insane. I'm not, it doesn't have to be thousands, but one stack is stupid. It makes no sense. It is so you can't refresh the spoil timer? I, I kind of get it, but is it really that big a thing, no run, about the spoil timer? Like, it's not that hard to get... Prime. Like, when you know what you're doing in Ark, you've got an RG, you go kill something, you bring the Prime back home, and you cook it up. Like, it, it doesn't make that much difference. <laughs> It's just a weirdly annoying mechanic, I think. In our obscurity. If anything, they could have made it so the Prime spoils all items in the stack. Yeah, I mean, go for that. Make it a stack of, like, 20, but if it, if it spoils, everything spoils together. Sure, go for that. I'll be fine with that. At least from an inventory management perspective, I wouldn't have to freaking... Worry about throwing out a thousand individual pieces of meat. So you know what's going to make this a lot easier? Don't use, just follow me. So much easier. It's not going to use stamina because we're not riding her. And she's going to move quicker anyway. Because she's not carrying my weight. Ooh, our Quetz baby. Quetz baby. Forgot about it. Forgot about it. Awkward. Awkward. All right, stay there. Um. Okay, let's grab this real quick. Quetz baby. All right. Also didn't think about the imprint on these guys. Oh, they've already grown up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, cool, cool, cool. So, let's go to here. We're going to pull raw meat. Should hold us out a little bit. Okay. Oh, you still have tons more raw meat. Okay. Beauty. Cool. We're good. We're good. Okay, now... Quetzal. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Alright, where are we going to grow up a Quetzal? These things are pretty big, aren't they? Now nah, you can just grow up here for now. Alright, we should definitely imprint on this thing. 13 minutes. Okay. Kick the baby. Don't kick the baby. Okay, so we got a Capro now. We got a Quetz. We got a Snake, just because why not? You want some exceptional kibble, do you? You know what? Fine. Have it. Why not? Let's get the imprint. Uh, we're overheating again. There we go. Man, my character is still cooked. I wonder when we load in next week if he's still going to be cooked from that fire. That's quite a cool look to it. <laughs> That's who we are now, chat. We had it. We had an accident. We've had a few accidents with fire in the last couple of days. Uh, okay. You know what? As much as I love playing Ark and chatting with everyone, I do have some stuff to do, chat. So let's call it a day call it a day there uh and thank you all for hanging out with me and coming to join our arc journey hopefully you had a bit of fun chilling out and watching us do the artifacts and right and the uh the labyrinth if you didn't know the labyrinth hopefully that helped you get to know the labyrinth better 
Um, but yeah, so as I said, Monday, Tuesday night this week, we're going to be doing a bonus stream. Not sure what we're going to be playing. We'll figure that out. Thursday, uh, during the day before I fly to TwitchCon, we're going to do a stream. I'm going to try out that Enshrouded game that's, um, that's out at the moment, which should be a bit of fun. Um, and yeah, we'll check that out. And then I'm off this weekend because of TwitchCon. So I won't be here for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, feel free to follow, chill, chat, join the Discord and make some friends. And uh, I will be back with more of this. Uh, obviously, ASA is due out soon, but we will make time to finish the Hunted Boss. Even if it's just like a couple of hours of stream where we go in and fight the boss and I'll prep my army off stream. Whatever that looks like, depending on the ASA release. But we're going to beat a boss. Like We've come this far in the Hunted. We've got to beat a boss now, all right? Uh, Mikey, thank you for hanging out with me, mate. I appreciate you. Uh, here is our raid message, everyone. We're the Dragon Horde. We vibe with good vibes and cookies, which just means we're awesome people and we like to spread the love. Uh, appreciate you, Steve. Well, thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, Preston Silver, good to see you. Luna, Jen, thanks for sticking around. I hope your day gets better. Uh, Run, Rikido, everybody else that's here. Uh, do me a favor. Let's go share some love. Uh, does anyone have a recommendation? Who can we go raid? Who's playing Ark right now that we can go and raid? I know TK's playing Ark. I feel like TK's been streaming about 23 hours a day at the moment. Um, we can raid him, but if someone has another suggestion... Yeah, Blackheart, welcome in, mate. Thanks for hanging out with us. If anyone has a different suggestion other than TK, let me know. Otherwise, we'll go... Oh, Watson's on as well? What's Watson doing these ways? So we got TK, we got Watson... Do we have any new people? Toast bloke. Toast bloke. All right. Is Toast bloke a good person? Aaron? I mean, you wouldn't suggest him if they weren't, right? Let's go say hello to a new ARC streamer. All right. Grab that message chat. Add some emotes. Show some love to Toast bloke. And let's go see what they're doing in uh, in the ARC these days. Uh, but again, thank you all for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hopefully your week ahead isn't too bad. And I'll catch you guys all uh, tomorrow night. Take it easy, everyone.